Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. One skill point per second, I turn the fireball into a forbidden spell. Chapter 41. Qi Guagong soon saw Lin Yi's profession. An ordinary mage, just like him, not a rare profession. He immediately admired Lin Yi. He was an ordinary mage, so he naturally knew how much he was at a disadvantage compared to other rare professions, even rare professions. Those professions have their own inherent advantages. Looking at the entire blue star, now those who can become a strong man above the seventh level are basically all rare professions, and there are even legendary professions. He Chi Guagong can achieve what he has today, all thanks to his hard work. Since becoming a professional, he has had adventures, too. But more of it is hard work. In the past 80 years, he has not been working hard to improve himself for a single day. In just 30 days, he can reach level 42. He must have encountered some adventure, right? Someone said. At this time, Qi Guagong sympathized with Lin Yi. He said, even if there is an adventure, his efforts and diligence cannot be denied. With only an adventure, he will never be able to reach this level. Li Yuanjing also nodded and said, this young man is good. He must have made countless times more efforts than ordinary people. For a time, the senior officials of the Dongzhang Provincial Education Bureau in the entire examination center, and even a small number of senior officials of the professional alliance headed by Qi Guagong, all looked at Lin Yi with admiration. At least they believed that they could not reach this level at Lin Yi's age. He is too hardworking. If Lin Yi knew what these people thought, I wonder what he would think. I am not, I don't have it, I am just a lazy dog. Li Yuanjing did not forget that Sun Liang was still waiting for his instructions. How should he deal with Lin Yi's special situation? After a moment of silence, Li Yuanjing said, The last time I met such a powerful candidate was decades ago. Since I met him again today, I will make a special case for him. Reopen the difficulty that once existed. The others were shocked when they heard this. Deputy Director Li, that difficulty has caused too many accidents. It's too difficult for these candidates, and it's not conducive to their physical and mental growth. Didn't you say that yourself? Li Yuanjing shook his head, times have changed. For him, nightmare difficulty is a joke, it's too easy. The difficulty we set is based on the situation of the first turn. Now there is a second turn, and those tests are not very meaningful. Of course, in order to be fair, notify the 22 examination halls in Tianai to open the purgatory difficulty at the same time. The people under Li Yuanjing heard this, and their scalps tingled. Of course, they knew what the so-called purgatory difficulty was. In short, the actual combat of the last level of the dungeon changed from an ordinary dungeon to a special dungeon contaminated by the breath of the abyss. Just like the special trials of each profession, while the difficulty soars, it will also allow these fledgling newcomers to come into contact with the vicious abyss monsters. Deputy Director, if the abyss difficulty is turned on, people without special abyss titles cannot choose it. Li Yuanjing waved his hand, then let them hang up their abyss titles. People without abyss titles cannot choose purgatory difficulty. By the way, add one more restriction. You must be at least gold standard to choose purgatory difficulty. If this level 42 kid has never passed the special trial before and has no title, then let him choose nightmare difficulty. There is nothing we can do about it. Li Yuanjing has made up his mind. Everyone can only do as he is told. Sun Liang immediately took the order and left. He ran all the way again. Back to exit 1, Sun Liang told everyone about the newly added purgatory difficulty and selection rules. Everyone, because the purgatory difficulty has been added, candidates who have registered and selected the difficulty before have a chance to reselect the difficulty. But I must remind you that the purgatory difficulty is very dangerous and may even result in casualties. If you choose this difficulty, you need to sign a life and death agreement, and your life and death are at your own risk. In addition, the last level of this difficulty requires entering a special copy contaminated by the breath of the abyss. You need to hold the abyss title to enter. Candidates without the title cannot register. Candidates who want to change their difficulty now, please raise your hands. There are only more than 20 candidates at entrance No. 1. The operation of changing the difficulty is not cumbersome and there is enough time. So Sun Liang followed the first come first served rule and let the candidates who had registered before reselect the difficulty. The next moment, 
Sun Liang saw three hands raised. The girl Lan Rui raised her right hand with a calm expression. At the same time, Zhao Kai and a younger brother beside him who had also reached level 29 also raised their right hands. Sun Liang was not too surprised. These three people were the three candidates with the highest level before. And Zhao Kai and the other boy are both rare professions. Lan Rui is an even rarer profession. They do have the confidence to challenge the difficulty of purgatory. Three candidates, please wear your abyss titles. After confirming that they are correct, I will adjust the difficulty you choose to purgatory level. The next moment, Lin Yi saw five big black characters appear above the heads of the three people, including Lan Rui. Abyss Challenger. Most titles are obtained by completing special achievements or special copies. Usually it is hidden. It will only be revealed when the professional chooses to wear it. Obviously, the title of Abyss Challenger is not beautiful, so no one is willing to wear it unless necessary. But at this time, having this title is a very prestigious thing. This means that they have passed the special professional trial and have come into contact with the Abyss monsters. Compared with other peers, the starting line is different. Zhao Kai has always been a little bit upset with Lin Yi. Although there is not much hatred, but his previous words and Lin Yi's level of 42 still made him feel like a clown. Especially embarrassing himself in front of the goddess he wanted to pursue, which made him even more annoyed. At this moment, he looked at Lin Yi. A malicious smile hung on the corner of his mouth. So what if you have a high level? If you don't pass the professional trial, you still can't choose the difficulty of purgatory. The difficulty is directly linked to the score that can be obtained. Even if you get full marks in the nightmare difficulty, it may not be as high as the score in the purgatory difficulty. Everyone turned their eyes to Lin Yi, including Sun Liang. In fact, when Sun Liang said that he wanted to wear a title, Lin Yi was already confused. So embarrassing, where do you wear a title? He has never worn a title before. Ahem, teacher, I would like to ask, how do you wear this title? Lin Yi could only bite the bullet and ask. Zhao Kai on the side was even more ecstatic. Ha ha. Pretend. Keep pretending. You obviously don't have it. You don't know how to wear it. Sun Liang didn't have as many inner thoughts as Zhao Kai. He just thought that Lin Yi might have never used the title system before, and quickly replied, Open your personal panel, then long press on your own name column, and the title list will pop up. Click on the corresponding title and choose to wear it. Lin Yi suddenly realized, Oh, okay. He still remembered that when he cleared the City of Dead Light, Fei Lai Kane, the system notification reminded him that his title had been upgraded. But later, Lin Yi couldn't find a way to open the title column. Gradually, he forgot about it. Now reminded by Sun Liang, he did as he was told. He quickly opened his title column. Maybe it was the first time to open the title column, Lin Yi was not very skilled in operation, or maybe his hand really slipped. The moment the title column opened, Lin Yi's finger touched the first title. The next moment, everyone felt a flash in front of their eyes. Then a golden light appeared. A string of words suddenly appeared above Lin Yi's head. Global Dungeon Clearance Record Hall of Fame. Sun Liang. Lan Rui. Zhao Kai. My 24K Titanium Alloy Dog Eyes. What the hell is this title? It's too cool. This is everyone's first reaction when they saw the title above Lin Yi's head. Lin Yi was stunned. Huh, why do you all have such expressions? Did I put the wrong title? He obviously noticed the golden light on his head. He looked up. He also saw the string of titles. Good guy, it's like wearing a super bright gold LED headlight, it's too conspicuous. This doesn't match his low-key personality. Hurry up and change it. Lin Yi smiled awkwardly. Ah, sorry, I'm not very skilled yet, I put the wrong title. Lin Yi quickly opened his title column again. Soon he saw that there were three titles in the title column. The first one was the one he showed by slipping his hand. The title of the Global Dungeon Hall of Fame. This title was automatically issued the moment Lin Yi got the place in the Hall of Fame. There might be a system prompt, but Lin Yi didn't seem to hear it. The second title is, Reaching the Pinnacle. This title was issued by the system when Lin Yi added points to the universal skill of appraisal to the pinnacle level. The last title is the Abyss Conqueror that Lin Yi is going to wear. At this time, Lin Yi discovered that his three titles actually have attributes. 
Global Dungeon Clearance Record Hall of Fame. When worn, your attribute values in all dungeon secret realms are increased by 3%. Reaching the Pinnacle. When worn, all the skill points you obtain are increased by 3%. Abyss Conqueror. When worn, you have the right to enter the Abyss Dungeon, and the difficulty of the dungeon is increased by one level, and the corresponding rewards are also more generous. Wow! The title of reaching the pinnacle also gives extra skill points. Although 3% of the skill points are not much, but a little adds up to a lot. I lost a month's worth of 3% skill point idol bonus. But Lin Yi didn't have time to think so much. His finger slid to the title of Abyss Conqueror, and then clicked to wear it. In Lin Yi's opinion, only one title should be worn. He chose Abyss Conqueror, so the previous Hall of Fame title would definitely be removed. But he was still too young. The next moment after Lin Yi chose to wear the title of Abyss Conqueror. Above the Hall of Fame title above his head. A line of words appeared again. Abyss Conqueror. And the special effects of this title are not inferior to the gold color of the Hall of Fame. The title flashed with a dazzling scarlet light, and there was a dark air of the abyss around it. That's really cool. Sun Liang. Lan Rui. Zhao Kai. You did it on purpose, right? You must have done it on purpose, right? Why does this guy have so many super rare titles? Although no one present has seen the Hall of Fame title. But I have heard of it. That is the honor that all professionals in the entire Blue Star dream of. But what is the matter with this Conqueror title with a full gloomy atmosphere and abyss oppression? Shouldn't it be the abyss challenger? Why are we challengers, and you are already a Conqueror? Lin Yi. He saw the reactions of these people again. Lin Yi was also a little speechless. He really wanted to be low-key. It was not his wish to turn on the special effects on his head and become the most handsome guy in the entire examination room. Sun Liang was sweating profusely. As an examiner, he felt that he had no dignity in front of this 18-year-old monster in front of him. That, this examinee, does this title on your head qualify you to enter the Abyss Dungeon? Because, because I, I haven't seen this title yet. Speaking of the latter, Sun Liang was a little inferior. He has reached the fourth level. He has reached the fourth level. And he also has the title of Abyss Challenger. But he really didn't know how to obtain the title of Abyss Conqueror. I really want to ask how he got this title. It's really cool. Lin Yi silently clicked to remove his 24k Gold Hall of Fame title again, and then replied, yes. Sun Liang took another deep look at the Abyss Conqueror title on Lin Yi's head. Without the influence of gold, the oppressive feeling and special effects of this title are more real. Glancing at the heads of the other people, they were originally full of challenger titles. Instantly felt what special effects crushing is. My special effects are better than yours. Zhao Kai closed himself. He didn't know how Lin Yi did it. He only knew that the person in front of him might be an abyss monster in human skin. Lan Rui couldn't take her eyes off Lin Yi. Handsome, powerful, mysterious. These characteristics that are most attractive to girls are perfectly reflected in one person. Even Lan Rui, a proud girl who is one of the best in the whole Dongjong, couldn't help but admire and respect him. He must be very hardworking and diligent. Otherwise, how could he have such a great achievement? On the huge spiritual crystal display screen of the examination center, the surveillance camera at entrance number one was placed in the middle and pulled to the maximum. The shock that Lin Yi just gave to Sun Liang, Lan Rui and others. It was also transmitted to this invigilation room. Countless senior officials of the Dongjong Provincial Education Bureau and the Professional Alliance Guild were stunned, staring at the two special titles hanging above Lin Yi's head. Global Dungeon Hall of Fame. Abyss Conqueror. Who is this kid? A few of them also have the former title. But it is limited to a few people. They know the value of the latter title. To get the title of Abyss Conqueror, you must complete a special hidden task in the Abyss-related dungeon. This is an opportunity that can only be encountered but not sought after. They only know how to obtain it, but they don't know the specific effect of this title. When Qi Guagong saw Lin Yi's two titles, his face changed and he immediately said, go check which copy of the Hall of Fame list he is on. Yes, the staff at the examination center immediately began to operate the spirit crystal and retrieve data. In fact, retrieval of relevant data is very simple and easy. After all, there are only tens of thousands of professionals who have entered the Global Dungeon Hall of Fame. 
Looking at the world, excluding foreign names, the possibility of having the same name as someone from Daxia alone is extremely low. Sure enough, search for Lin Yi's name. Soon a copy of the record appeared in front of everyone. Special copy. City of Eternal Light Fiskain permanently removed. Dungeon level. LV.25. Copy difficulty. A+. Plus. Copy occupation restrictions. Mage, priest. Best clearance record in the dungeon. 0 hours, 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Record holder. Lin Yi. In the conference room, the whole audience was in an uproar. Ha, huh, it's this copy. This dungeon was announced globally more than 10 days ago and will be permanently removed from the list. Is he the last one to pass the level? Hiss, look at his clearance record. Ha, huh, more than 2 minutes. Isn't the requirement to clear this dungeon limited to survival within a limited time? I remember that the requirement is to survive for 3 hours. Yes, I also remember that I personally wrote the strategy for this copy and uploaded it to the strategy center of our province. Qi Guagong fell into deep thought for a long time. He stared intently at Lin Yi on the big screen. What came to mind was the figure with blue flames burning all over his body in the video uploaded by Tianshui College when he held a meeting for the members of his professional alliance more than 10 days ago. The next moment, Lin Yi's figure suddenly overlapped with the figure in his mind that he temporarily named the Abyss Realm Flame Emperor. Body shape, temperament, they all look alike. But then, Qi Guagong shook his head. That's ridiculous. Not to mention that the spell used by Yuanji Yanwang was at least the 8th level. The specificity of that spell alone is not something that Blue Star professionals can possess. That is a high-level spell unique to the Abyss world. It's an alienated version of Blue Star's spell. In addition, that image was extracted from someone else's memory, so there may be deviations in body shape and image, which is normal. In the end, Qi Guagong convinced himself. He concluded, This kid's adventure is the only one I've ever seen in my life. More than 10 days ago, I received a memory image of this copy uploaded from Tianshui College. In the video, it was this boy who encountered an extremely low probability event when he was clearing this dungeon. That's the hidden boss in the dungeon, which was provoked by another strong man from the Abyss world. That strong man has at least reached the level of the Demon King. In a flash, he instantly killed the hidden boss of the copy with a modified 8th level fire spell. As a result, the entire dungeon completely disappeared and was removed from the list. This kid passed the level in a daze and got the title of Hall of Fame. After listening to Qi Guagong's explanation, everyone was a little more accepting. Otherwise, if Lin Yi has such terrifying strength, he would still use it to take the college entrance examination. It is estimated that the top professional universities in the country will offer him an olive branch as soon as possible, and at the same time, other Blue Star countries will also set him as the first assassination target as soon as possible. Comma. Outside the examination room, Sun Liang looked at the watch on his hand and said, There are still 10 minutes left before the exam starts. Candidates please enter the exam room. The exam rules will be announced soon. Lan Rui and others who were at the front walked into entrance number one first. Lin Yi followed at the end. After entering entrance one, follow the instructions on the wall and go through several aisles. A familiar copy of the light curtain appeared in front of him. It seems that the test for this college entrance examination was conducted in a special copy provided by the organizer. Saw Lin Yi coming. Previously, all the so-called geniuses in Dongzhong province were silent. Lin Yi could see that the arrogance and clear stupidity on their faces had disappeared. Replaced by awe and fear. Attention all candidates. The 2024 National Unified Vocational College Entrance Examination will begin in five minutes. The exam discipline and test rules will be announced below. All candidates are requested to strictly abide by this, and violators will be dealt with seriously. There are five rounds in this exam. Only those who pass the first four rounds and perform well will be eligible to enter the fifth round. All content of this test will be conducted in a special copy. All copies are independent copies. Candidates cannot communicate with other personnel except the invigilator. All candidates are strictly prohibited from bringing any equipment or other creation equipment into the test copy. Violators will be punished as cheating. After entering the dungeon, all candidates' own food, alchemical mixtures, and non-professional buffs will be dispelled. 
The evaluation system of this exam uses points evaluation. In each round of testing, the system will automatically score the candidates according to their completion of the goals. The higher the difficulty of the test selected by the candidates, the more points they will get after completing the corresponding goals. Quote, if an emergency occurs during the testing process, it will be handled in accordance with the relevant regulations of the Unified Admissions Examination Management Measures of Daxia Vocational Higher Education Institutions. The broadcast is finished. The hall fell into silence. Five minutes passed quickly. Lin Yi heard a bell ringing in the entire examination room. At the same time, near the exit, there were countless whistles from the invigilators and the roar of the gates closing. Once the exam begins, the unlucky ones who are late will not be eligible to enter again. Please all candidates enter the dungeon. Sun Liang ordered. Everyone, including Lin Yi, stepped into the dungeon light curtain and disappeared. After a period of darkness, Lin Yi opened his eyes again. He found himself in a pure white, endless space. This space was extremely quiet, without any sound. There were no so-called monsters or terrain. This should be a dungeon that was transformed by some big guys with special means. However, Lin Yi still saw a countdown and scoreboard floating in the void not far in front of him. There are still 0, 0.059 before the first round of the exam starts. Current points, 0. At the same time, the dungeon notice sounded in Lin Yi's mind. Candidate Lin Yi, in one minute, a goblin with level set to LV.30, armor set to 1000, magic resistance set to 1000, and health set to 10,000 will appear in front of you. This goblin will not move or attack, please kill it as quickly as you can. The shorter the time, the higher the score. After listening to the rules, Lin Yi was stunned at first. Then a sense of loss emerged in his heart. If it weren't for my brother, you would call this the purgatory difficulty. That's it, a monster with only 10,000 health, and a big wooden stake, will not run. Who are you looking down on? Isn't this a bit difficult? The blood volume is not much, but the defense and magic resistance are set too high. In the examination center, as the examination began, countless people stared at the big screen. And the people displayed on the screen at this moment are all young and famous candidates who are most likely to come out on top in the college entrance examination in the entire Dongjiang province. Lan Rui was among them. In addition to her, there were more than 20 candidates from other examination rooms who had also reached level 29 or above and chose the purgatory difficulty level. It can be said that these people have already booked the top 20 in Dongjiang province for this college entrance examination. Other gold label candidates who choose nightmare difficulty may also have a few dark horses. The basic damage of level 1 professional skills is not very high, it's only over 100 at most and they are not allowed to wear equipment, and their attribute value bonus will not be high. For ordinary professionals, it is very likely that the skill panel can deal 1 or 200 damage, but if it is hit on this goblin, only 10 will be left. What time is it? Someone steps into the perspective of these candidates. In the case of one turn, there is no equipment, no potion effect, and no buff effect. It is difficult to break through the defense. In the end, it might just be scraping. Li Yuanjing chuckled. Otherwise, why do you think this difficulty level was finally rejected by me and no longer used in the formal assessment? Qi Guagong, who was sitting next to him, scanned the big screen carefully, but did not see Lin Yi's shadow. Where's that kid at level 42? Li Yuanjing was reminded by him and realized that there was no copy of Lin Yi on the big screen. At this time, a staff member responsible for broadcasting the copy screen quickly reported, report. The broadcast screen of our spirit crystal system is automatically captured according to certain logic. The logical priority at the moment is the occupational rarity of these candidates. Two leaders, we have asked special personnel to retrieve the screen copy of the candidate named Lin Yi that you are paying attention to. We expect it to be cast on the screen within two minutes. Li Yuanjing nodded. Generally speaking, rare professions and rare professions are definitely better than ordinary professions. So there is nothing wrong with having such a crawling logic. They just need to wait quietly for Lin Yi's copy screen to appear. Taking advantage of the few dozen seconds before the first round of testing had begun, Li Yuanjing waved and continued to ask, give me a list of people who chose the purgatory difficulty this time and combined the level and professional rarity. Soon, a list came into his hands. 
for every name of the top 10 candidates, just by looking at the surname, Li Yuanjing could basically guess which family the genius came from. Haha, ha, isn't the one at the top of the list your little son? You are a rare profession of the archer type. He has awakened a legendary profession. The future is limitless. Qi Guagong also got such a list. The person at the top of the list is named Li Zerui, who is Li Yuanjing's second son. Zerui is still a bit lazy on weekdays, so let's not mention it, but your granddaughter is not a fuel-efficient lamp either, haha. Ha. The second person on the list is named Qi Shying, who is also a legendary professional. No, no, Xia Ying has not inherited her father's diligence at all, she is also very lazy at home. The senior officials of the Dongjiang Provincial Education Department and the Professionals Alliance, who were sitting next to and behind the two men, saw the two big bosses exchanging business blows, and they all complained in their hearts. This is so Versailles. Having said that, most people were still looking at the two people on the big screen. Because everyone knows that the one who is most likely to win the first place in the first round should be one of these two people. The one-minute countdown ends. Soon, on the big screen, a short goblin monster suddenly appeared in front of the boy on the left. The boy reacted very quickly. The moment he raised his right hand, his entire palm was coated with a silver metal shell, and then the palm of his hand deformed into a black muzzle. Boom! The next moment, a rocket shot out of the muzzle and hit the goblin monster, causing a huge explosion in an instant. The goblin's health dropped a lot, and this attack probably caused close to 1,000 points of damage. In the case of 1000 double resistance, this damage is already very considerable. However, it seems that powerful attacks like rocket launchers require reloading time, so he cannot use them frequently. So the muzzle on the right arm turned into the barrel of the machine gun. The gunfire sounded, and countless bullets were fired at the goblin monster. Beat it till its skin is torn. What a fierce firepower. Is this the gunner type legendary professional alloy modified vanguard? I feel like he should be able to kill that goblin with damage in less than 20 seconds. Mr. Chi's granddaughter is also very powerful. Look, she is already surrounded by more than a dozen dazzling patterns. She is probably waiting for a wave of explosions. On the big screen next to Li Zerui, Chi Shying was fighting in a short game, with a heroic appearance, and her fists and kicks kept hitting the goblin monster at an extremely fast speed. Every 10 strikes, a dazzling pattern shining with the light of various elements will appear around her. Her profession is called Fighting Spirit Master. It's obviously a job transfer from the mage system, but the attack methods are basically melee attacks. Each melee attack will add magic damage, and the stored dazzle patterns can also have various elemental effects. Under the girl's deliberate control, the dazzle patterns surrounding her basically flashed orange red light. After these fire attributed dazzle patterns are launched, they will add a burning effect to the target, and their own damage is also the highest among all elemental dazzle patterns. Under this kind of assessment condition that requires burst output and killing monsters as soon as possible, it is the best choice. Both of them fight so fast. The blood volume has reached about 70%. It's only been 2 or 3 seconds. The girl from the Lan family seems to be very powerful. Countless people looked at these shining Dongjong geniuses on the screen and were extremely excited. However, the next moment, the upper right corner of the screen, which was originally vacant and ready to announce the results, suddenly flashed. A name suddenly appeared. The discussion in the entire examination center was gone. Full score ranking. Current test round. First round. Ranking. Number 1. Candidate Lin Yi passed the first round in 2.36 seconds, and got 1,000 points. Ah, everyone was stunned. They looked at Li Zerui and Qi Shying who were madly attacking on the big screen, and they all felt that their CPUs were about to burn out. What's going on? Why did you kill them instantly when others were just half-blooded? Not only the Dongjong executives who were watching at the examination center were shocked. The countless candidates who were desperately attacking in the first round of the test were also shocked. Boom, another rocket was fired from the muzzle of Li Zerui's right arm. However, it missed. His mind was confused, his gun was slow, and he even forgot to aim. He was determined to win the first place in the province in the first round. However, he never expected that when he was half-blooded, others had already been killed instantly. Qi Shying on the other side did not perform much better. 
Her target has always been Li Zerui. The two not only know each other, but also have a good relationship. To be honest, their relationship is as subtle as that of Lin Yi and Zhang Ya in the three years of high school. It's just that the gap between Qi Shying and Li Zerui is much smaller than the gap between the previous two. In this first round of exams, from the perspective of burst output alone, the dozens of dazzling patterns that Qi Shying has been saving can be used to lay the foundation for her victory. She is the one who is determined to win the first place. However, a name called Lin Yi suddenly appeared on the list. She was shocked for a moment. She was even a little scared. Hesitation will lead to defeat. Just a moment of distraction caused three or four of the 26 dazzling patterns that she had been restraining with her mental power to dissipate. By the time she reacted, it was too late. On the other side, Lan Rui also saw the name on the list in her own exam copy. Lin Yi, isn't this the level 42 professional who was waiting with him at entrance number? 1. He actually passed the first round so quickly. What a terrifying output. As for Zhao Kai, who had looked down on Lin Yi before, he was vomiting blood at this moment. Because he had regretted it a little. The difficulty of purgatory was not suitable for him. Because the goblin in front of him had just lost a layer of blood. All his skills hit this goblin, it was really too painful. The examiner was really perverted. With such high double resistance, who can beat it? There will be no monsters with such high resistance in the dungeon. Compared with Zhao Kai, all the people from class 8 of Zhongcheng number. One middle school who knew Lin Yi were like taking stimulants. Especially Zhang Shan. At this moment, he was standing still under the attack of four or five goblins, unmoved. The night profession can take the output route. Of course, it can also take the protection route. During the registration phase of this college entrance examination, professionals will be asked to choose their duty orientation. Output, protection, and support. Choose one of these three orientations and then take the corresponding test. Since it is a national college entrance examination, it naturally covers all professionals. You can't let a priest who has only obtained the healing skill test his speed in killing monsters. So Zhang Shan chose the protection duty. At this moment, he only felt that his whole body was full of strength. He could withstand five or six more monsters. Just because this guy was showing off to the examiners in charge of his area. Hey, the one ranked first now is my brother. Ha ha ha, it's really my brother, I didn't lie to you. Hey, you are awesome, the first in the province. The examination rules really don't stipulate that candidates can't make loud noises in their own examination copies. Because after all, the copy space is independent and will not affect other candidates. So this guy's shouting directly made the invigilators speechless. They really wanted to say, yes, 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 I know, then your buddy got first place, but what does that have to do with you? Comma, in the dungeon where Lin Yi was. He was a little bored. He sat down on the ground. Then he looked at the score sheet above his head. He just got 1000 points. This score was too rounded. It made him feel like he got full marks. Well, he wasn't sure if it was full marks, but he was sure he was first. Because the leaderboard was hanging next to the score sheet. Now, more than 20 seconds have passed since the start of the first round of assessment. Finally, Lin Yi is not the only one on this leaderboard. Gradually, one name after another appeared on the list. No one, candidate Lin Yi, passed the first round in 2.36 seconds and got 1,000 points. No two, candidate Qi Shying, passed the first round in 23.27 seconds and got 877.6 points. No three, candidate Li Zerui, passed the first round in 24.88 seconds and obtained points, 861.1. No four, candidate Xu Jia, passed the first round in 28.79 seconds and obtained points, 812.1. Number 5, Candidate Lan Rui, passed the first round in 34.03 seconds, and obtained points, 759.9. Comma, the list only shows the top 10. These 10 people who can make the list are the entire Dongzhong province. The real strong ones among more than 100,000 candidates in this national college entrance examination. Such a list. It also appeared in the upper right corner of the big screen in the examination center. Even Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong, who were calm, were a little uncalm now. 
The two looked at each other and saw shock on each other's faces. Li Yuanjing asked, Why haven't you adjusted his picture after so long? Hearing the question of the big boss, the staff member who just promised to retrieve Lin Yi's footage in two minutes shuddered. He was sweating profusely. To be honest, only a few dozen seconds had passed. Less than a minute. I can't do anything even if you rush me. It just takes time. But what can I do? He is a big leader, and I can only swallow my bitterness. Report. Report. Immediately. Immediately. I'll urge you again. The man ran away quickly. Li Yuanjing smiled bitterly when he saw that his youngest son could only finish third on the list. I never expected that Zeri would make such a big mistake in the first round. Qi Guagong also sighed. Shying is the same, she lost four or five of her dazzling patterns. It seems that this boy gave them a big shock. Li Yuanjing. Nonsense. Didn't you see that he, the first one, and your granddaughter, the second one, just pulled a gap and came out? The difference between 2 seconds and more than 20 seconds is nearly 10 times. Watch the replay later and see how this kid did it. Comma, Tianai City, outside the first examination room. At the beginning of the exam, after all candidates have entered the room. The place is still crowded. There are a large number of locals from Tianai City who come to every examination room to join in the fun. There were also teachers, parents, and some staff from the education department who came from other base cities throughout Dongjiang province to take the exam. Most of these people will take their students and children home after the college entrance examination. Outside the 22 examination rooms in Tianai City, there is a huge spiritual crystal display screen. Displays the current exam progress and related ranking information in real time. On the display, suddenly a line of large characters jumped out. The first round of this year's exam is over. The first round rankings are announced. The next moment, names appeared on the ranking list one by one. The list outside has a large screen, so it can accommodate the ranking information of the top 100 candidates in the province. After seeing the list, outside the 22 examination rooms in Tianai City, countless people exclaimed, the whole place was in an uproar. Look, that number one. It's a name I've never heard of. Lin Yi, do we have a big family of professionals named Lin and Dongzhong? Yes, there is, but it's not from a big family. Who is this Lin Yi? Has no one seen this incredible clearance record? Two seconds. Yeah, the second one was just over 20 seconds. It's a bit exaggerated. This year in Dongzhong, a super dark horse emerged from the first round of exams. It's not just a dark horse, this is a pegasus. Countless people talked about it. From today on, the name Lin Yi has completely entered the eyes of most people in Dongzhong. Comma. On the other side, the examination center. Deputy Director Li, is this guy's 1,000 points a perfect score for this round? A subordinate asked a question. Li Yuanjing nodded. If you can kill that goblin monster within 10 seconds, you will get full marks. After 10 seconds, 10 points will be deducted for every second that passes. No more points will be deducted after 500 points are deducted. As long as you can kill the goblins within the 3 minutes of this round's time limit, you will get the 500 points guaranteed to pass the level. This rule was drawn up by me and Lao Yi back then. The Lao Yi mentioned by Li Yuanjing is the top leader of the entire Dongzhang Provincial Education Department. Yi Hang, it's just that he is having a meeting in the imperial capital at the moment. Getting full marks on purgatory difficulty, I haven't seen it in years. Qi Guagong was also a little emotional at this time. Li Yuanjing also had a look of reminiscence in his eyes. It is not difficult for geniuses who come from top bases like Dijing and Shanghai to get full marks in the first round of purgatory difficulty. However, we in Dongzhang have not seen such amazing talents in the past 10 years. This guy is the first of his kind in the past 10 years. The screen in the large conference room suddenly flashed. At this moment, the replay of Lin Yi's performance in the first round will finally be played. Everyone was curious as to how Lin Yi passed the first round of testing in just two seconds. Playback starts. The entire playback video was about the same time as Lin Yi's clearance, only about four or five seconds. But after watching the video, everyone in the conference room was stunned. Play it again. Li Yuanjing also felt a little incredible. Immediately ask the people under you to play it again. 
After the second playback started, Li Yuanjing added another sentence, slow playback. Under the slow playback effect, this time everyone finally saw clearly what Lin Yi had done. In fact, it's nothing. The moment the goblin monster just appeared, five or six huge fireballs the size of a washbasin appeared in front of Lin Yi. These fireballs were like a barrage of fireballs, bombarding the goblin monsters in a straight line with extremely high frequency. The goblin monster's blood volume dropped crazily at an extremely terrifying speed. After just over two seconds, the blood volume was cleared. When the goblins disappeared, there were even seven or eight pyrotechnics in flight, bombarding them into the distance. Is this the flame mage's second level skill pyroblast? Li Yuanjing suddenly realized. The first time because the speed was too fast. He even thought that Lin Yi used some kind of fire spell that he didn't understand. Why is it like a fire dragon? Only now did he realize that it was not a fire dragon, it was just the effect of countless pyroblasts being rubbed out by him in an instant and then bombarded continuously. Qi Guagong nodded. It's pyroblast. This kid has already completed his second level. It's not surprising that he has mastered a second level skill. Li Yuanjing took over the conversation. The really strange thing is, how could he release the pyroblast technique so many times with such terrifying efficiency, right? Qi Guagong nodded solemnly. As a superior spell of fireball, pyroblast not only does more damage, but also has an effect that fireball doesn't have. That is, when dealing damage, it ignores 40% of the target's magic resistance. With the goblin monster's high magic resistance, even if he were to deal with it, he would give up the higher level triple flame spear and choose to use pyroblast. It can definitely kill monsters faster. Does he have any skills for singing quickly? Qi Guagong shook his head. It is absolutely impossible for the mage's passive skill high-speed chanting to have such an exaggerated effect after it reaches level 2. If you want to use nearly 20 pyrotechnics in 2 seconds, there is only one possibility. This kid's pyroblast technique is instantaneous. Moreover, his mana is also very strong, enough to support him to release so many pyrotechnics in such a short period of time. Li Yuanjing also understood what Qi Guagong meant. When he awakened his profession, he should have awakened a certain talent, right? Qi Guagong affirmed. Yes, and this talent should allow him to cast spells instantly, and even increase the cost of skills. That's not surprising. No wonder he was able to reach this level in just 30 days. To everyone present, the impact of the instantaneous level 2 pyroblast technique on them was limited to Lin Yi's age and extremely low professional experience. At the age of 18, I had just started my career for a month. This fighting power is very abnormal. But that's all. Soon, the playback video ended. On the big screen, those candidates who were included in the list and focused on were replayed. However, this time Lin Yi's picture was placed directly in the center. Li Zerui and Qi Shying, the two previous favorites for the championship, could only move to the sides and give up the C position to Lin Yi. The second round of testing, I remember, was a quick kill of multiple targets, right? Yes, the first round tests the ability of output type professionals to quickly kill a single target, that is, the burst ability. The second round tests the burst ability against multiple targets. To be honest, the second level is much more difficult than the first level, because most professionals only have one small single skill in the first turn, and almost no ability to fight against a group. Even if they have, they basically attack the main target, and then some splash damage will be generated around the main target. In the second round, there will be a total of 20 goblins that will not move or attack, with double resistance of about 300 and only 1000 HP. For some legendary professions, if they have real AoE skills and means at this time of the first turn, then they will definitely have the upper hand in this round of testing. In fact, Li Yuanjing has been eavesdropping on the discussions of the people behind him. A barely noticeable smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. His son Li Zerui's profession has nothing else, but too many skills for large-scale firepower coverage. The rocket he used before was actually an AoE explosion damage. He might win this round. As for Lin Yi, although Li Yuanjing is optimistic about him, according to his understanding. Mage, Fire Mage, even if it is a third level skill. Triple Flame Lance, it is just a little bigger in range. Three Flame Lances can hit three goblins at most. And the real AoE skill is the fourth level Flame Storm. 
This kid can't have such a high level skill at this level, right? Qi Guagong, who was sitting next to Li Yuanjing, of course also noticed the thoughts of this old friend. Haha, <laughs> it's not only your Zi Rui who has AoE skills. My granddaughter also has it. Let's wait and see, in this second round of tests, I must take the first place and win back a city. The two thought so. The countdown to the start of the second round on the big screen was less than 10 seconds. Most of the candidates were preparing for the second round in advance. On the big screen, Li Zerui stood in place, but his eyes were bright and focused, and all kinds of weapon systems had been charged. He only waited for the monster to refresh, and he would instantly pour out his firepower. On the other side, Qi Shying was no less capable. At this moment, she had already activated a field skill in advance. The 4 meter range around her was all red. As soon as the monster appeared, it would be instantly burned by this field, and it would be killed more quickly. It seems that the girl from the Lan family may also reach the top in this round. Suddenly someone noticed the corner of the big screen. The live broadcast screen of Lan Rui. In the screen, Lan Rui, who had a cold temperament, kept chanting magic spells. Then, rock balls with purple light flashing in the sky gradually took shape and floated up. Why are there so many rock balls suspended in the air? She is a rare job transfer of the mage system, the gravity mage. Is this the second level skill of the gravity system? She hasn't even reached the second job transfer yet, but she has already mastered this spell. This skill is too advantageous. When the monsters are refreshed, she will directly control these seven or eight rock balls to smash down. The AoE damage that bursts out instantly will definitely be terrifying. Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong also noticed this. They all felt a shudder in their hearts. Don't tell me, with so many rock balls smashing down, they don't believe it's not area damage. Who will get the first place in this round, it suddenly became confusing. Just when all the Dongzhong geniuses showed their magical powers. Lin Yi, who was on the main screen, stood out as someone who didn't take the usual path. On the screen, Lin Yi was already sitting on the smooth ground, drawing circles with his fingers out of boredom. Lin Yi was really bored. I had thought that the National College Entrance Examination, or the Purgatory Difficulty, should make me serious. Who knew it was just like a child playing house? 20 goblins with 1000 HP. Are you kidding me? Isn't this all killed by a firestorm? Is it difficult? So, he was too lazy to stand. He just sat on the ground. In the examination center, countless bigwigs saw Lin Yi like this and instantly didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This kid, why do I feel that he doesn't care much about this national college entrance examination? Li Yuanjing looked at Lin Yi in the middle of the big screen and couldn't help complaining. Qi Guagong also nodded. He doesn't have AoE means, and knows that he will definitely not perform well in this round, so he is a little self-destructive. As soon as Qi Guagong put forward this hypothesis, it was instantly recognized by many people. Although Lin Yi is at a high level, although Lin Yi can instantly cast Pyroblast, but in this situation where he needs to quickly kill multiple targets in a large range, he should be a little stretched. Pyroblast requires aiming, although the refreshed goblins will not move. But the position distribution is random. You can use Pyroblast instantly. At the beginning, you may not need to aim and can hit the target. But later, if you want to hit the target, you must aim. It is impossible to kill so many goblins in 2 or 3 seconds. After all, this guy is just an ordinary profession. He can't even compare with rare professions. It is even more impossible to surpass legendary professions. On the big screen, the countdown is reset to zero. The next moment, in all dungeons, 20 goblins were refreshed in the blink of an eye. Li Zerui, who had been ready for battle, opened fire directly. The roar was endless. The dungeon was filled with smoke, and it was like a battlefield in Lia. On the other side, Qi Shying's domain also completely included all goblin monsters. The passive skill of the battle spirit fighter profession was also crazy at this moment. As long as a certain number of damage is caused to a monster, a dazzling pattern will be generated. The burning of the field, plus her own small-scale AoE sweeping attack. The output of the dazzling pattern is almost 10 times that of the previous one. Under the explosion of countless dazzling patterns and the burning of the field, her efficiency in clearing monsters is not inferior to Li Zerui at all. 
On the other side, Lan Rui is more direct. A full ten rock balls fell down with a bang. She can already think of the scene in the next moment when her name appears on the leaderboard. However, at this moment, on the big screen of the examination center, an extremely blazing orange-red light suddenly appeared. The light came from the screen in the middle. I saw countless burning air waves carrying bright embers, falling from the sky. Smashing hard on the twenty goblin monsters. The next moment, the ground was burned to a dark red color, and the twenty goblins disappeared directly as if they melted. This time, Chi Guagong couldn't sit still. He opened his eyes wide in an instant. The leaderboard jumped again. Current test round. Second round. Rank. Number 1. Candidate Lin Yi. Passed the second round in 0.1 seconds. Earned points. 1000. All the Dongjong high-level officials were stunned. Nima. Some even yelled directly in front of the leader. His usually modest and civilized image suddenly collapsed. Seconds. See you again in seconds. And this time because Lin Yi happened to occupy the C position. They see it more clearly than anyone else. Almost those twenty goblins just refreshed. The storm formed by countless blazing fires and high temperature air currents crashed down instantly. Lin Yi was still sitting on the ground. He didn't even glance at the twenty goblins. Everything seems to be taken for granted. In the blink of an eye, destruction comes. In the examination room, countless candidates were dazzled. I saw a name pop up again on the blank ranking list. Still familiar two words, Lin Yi. What followed was an unfamiliar and even more unbelievable result. 0.1 seconds. It's him again. The battle for the top spot in the second round completely lost its suspense the moment the assessment began. How the hell is this done? Which big shot is this reincarnation successful? 0.1 seconds. This god of forest, please use your magical powers. Every time you get results that look like cheating, it will make my heart unbearable. Countless candidates felt a little broken in their hearts. Now they even plan to protest to the invigilator. Please don't show this ranking list in the dungeons of novices like us, okay? The mentality will explode. In the examination center, Li Yuanjing stared at Lin Yi's ranking in the upper right corner of the big screen and the results that followed. The heartbeat is very fast. He suddenly thought of something. More than 600 years have passed since the National College Entrance Examination began in Daxia. In the past 600 years, has any candidate been able to achieve such a result in the second round of purgatory difficulty? If there is not, did he witness history in his lifetime? Li Yuanjing took a deep breath. He wanted to check it out. He waved his hand. Soon a subordinate came over. Li Yuanjing leaned close to his ear and said, Go check what is the best record of the second round of the purgatory difficulty in the more than 600 National College Entrance Examination records of R. Daxia. The subordinate nodded excitedly when he heard it, Okay, I'll go now. Obviously, he also realized that the record created by Lin Yi might have broken the historical extreme value. 0.1 seconds, too exaggerated. However, Li Yuanjing stopped him and continued. Then let the invigilation team thoroughly check whether there are any technical problems in Lin Yi's copy, and whether such a record appeared because of a bug. By the way, check his status bar, equipment bar, etc. to make sure he didn't cheat. The subordinate nodded repeatedly when he heard it. If these two are confirmed, then it can be proved that the score obtained by this candidate is legitimate and there is no cheating. After the explanation, the subordinate hurried to check. And these short 10 seconds passed. The ranking list on the upper right corner of the big screen changed again. In addition to Lin Yi, many new people appeared on the list. Current test round. Second round. Current round points ranking. No one, candidate Lin Yi, passed the first round in 0.1 seconds and got points, 1000. No two, candidate Lan Rui, passed the second round in 9.42 seconds and got points, 939.3. No three, Candidate Chi Shying passed the second round in 12.88 seconds and got points, 816.1. No 4, Candidate Li Zerui passed the second round in 13.03 seconds and got points, 805.4. Number 5, Candidate Ding Chuching passed the second round in 13.67 seconds and got points, 799.9.
comma, the points that can be obtained in the second round are the same as the first round, both of which are full marks of 1,000 points. However, this time, it is obvious that many new faces appeared on the list. Single burst and group burst are two different advantage intervals. Professionals like Chi Shying and Li Zerui who can take care of both are rare. So the list was directly changed. And it is worth mentioning that Lan Rui's tactics were very successful and she emerged as a new force. The Gravity Mage can store spells such as Rock Balls, which gave her a great advantage in this round. Instantly surpassed Li Zerui and Chi Shying. But these geniuses with dazzling halos were instantly eclipsed in front of Lin Yi, the big devil. How dare the Firefly compete with the Bright Moon? Soon, Li Yuanjing got a reply to the things he asked his subordinates to do. Deputy Director Li, I just asked all the staff of our technical department to recheck the status gain, items and equipment of the candidate Lin Yi, and all the items that may be cheated. There are no abnormalities. And there are no abnormalities in the copy status and data. He got this score honestly. The subordinate in charge of reporting was obviously very excited. His voice couldn't help but get a little louder. Everyone in the examination center who was closer to Li Yuanjing heard it. Instantly, their expressions were also amazed. It's incredible. We originally thought that the first place in our province this year should be between Li Zerui and Qi Shying, but who knew that Lin Yi would come out halfway? He still got full marks in this round. The examination center should have remained serious and silent. And the two big guys, Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong, did not talk out loud. Others should not speak easily. But at this moment, it doesn't matter. Because Li Yuanjing is in a good mood. The news reported by his subordinates immediately made him smile even more. Deputy Director Li, we have just checked the relevant records in the Daxia archives. In the National College Entrance Examination held in 2876, a candidate from Shanghai scored a good score of 0.48 seconds in the second round of the purgatory difficulty. This record has not been broken in the past hundred years. Today, it was broken. And it is worth mentioning that the candidate who created this record before was named Zheng Yingshong. Hearing this name, everyone in the conference room gasped. Li Yuanjing said in surprise, It is the 21st god of war of our Daxia, that Zheng Yingshong. The subordinate nodded. Li Yuanjing couldn't sit still. He felt that he was a little too excited. Try to calm his excitement. He stared at the big screen with burning eyes, and said slowly, we still don't know how he will perform in the next few rounds, and whether he will be overtaken by the people behind. But at least at this moment, he has created the history of our Daxia. His record is unprecedented. Li Yuanjing is so ambitious at this moment. Although Lin Yi has no relationship with him. But the cultivation of the younger generation can also be developed slowly. The most important thing is that this is a candidate from their Dongzhong. If he goes to the imperial capital to report on his work and attend meetings later, he will also be proud. To be honest, I think his full score is a bit unfair to him. This sentence was said by Qi Guagong. Li Yuanjing raised his eyebrows and looked at Qi Guagong, who was sitting on the right side of the seat. Then he was also startled. Because the expression on the latter's face at this moment was seven parts surprise, two parts appreciation, and the last part jealousy. That's right. He actually saw a subtle expression of jealousy and envy on the face of this seventh turn holy magician who was one level higher than himself. Why did Mr. Qi sigh like this? Li Yuanjing asked. Qi Guagong raised his finger and pointed at the points list in the upper right corner. Didn't you notice that even with a perfect score, his points are not far behind the second place? Li Yuanjing glanced at the list. I instantly understood what Qi Guagong meant. Lin Yi's score had already reached zero before the decimal point. As for the second place, it almost went straight to two digits before the decimal point. How many times the difference is this? Nearly a thousand times the difference. And what about the score difference? Just over 60 points. No wonder Qi Guagong said that this scoring system was unfair to Lin Yi. Li Yuanjing smiled bitterly. It's a bit unfair, but these rules are unified across the country. Although I participated in the writing of the scoring amendment, who among us could have imagined that one day there would be such exaggerated results as this kid's? Qi Guagong smiled and said, It doesn't matter, the strong will always be strong. I believe that based on what he has shown so far, he should be the number one player in Dongzhong province this year. 
Qi Guagong made a direct judgment. This made Li Yuanjing look at him with admiration. No, bro, the whole province knows that you dote on your precious granddaughter. In addition, Qi Guagong is famous for protecting his shortcomings. It was a bit difficult for him to admit that another stranger had surpassed his granddaughter and was aiming to be number one in the province. But Qi Guagong's next words directly caused everyone in the conference room to think deeply. Please give me monthly votes and recommended votes. There is also a follow-up reading. Thank you readers. This chapter is the first chapter where the protagonist becomes famous. I wanted to write it in as much detail as possible, but I read in the book review section that some brothers said it was a bit watered down. I am famous for taking advice, so I will speed up the pace and write faster in the next two rounds. How do you think he achieved this unprecedented time of 0.1 seconds? The spell he used just now is a fourth level fire spell, Flame Storm. The normal required chanting time is 5 seconds. And he is still instant. Qi Guagong's words instantly caused an uproar in the whole audience. A word that wakes up the dreamer. Yes, how could they forget this most crucial point? The spell just now even made the entire big screen turn red. It's obviously quite popular. He is a level 42 mage who has just made his second turn. Instantaneous fourth level spell. At this moment, everyone realized how outrageous Lin Yi was. The talent he awakened should be very strong, allowing him to use fourth level spells at this level and in this job change situation. Li Yuanjing made a decision. For a time, countless bosses in the entire examination center looked at Lin Yi in a different light. That's right. This guy is just an ordinary mage. But the overall strength of a professional cannot only be judged by the strength of his profession. Talents, skills and even equipment matching must also be considered comprehensively. But the next moment, when they saw Lin Yi's performance in the center of the big screen again, the corners of their mouths twitched a few times. I saw Lin Yi sitting on the ground. At some point, a big chicken leg appeared in his left hand, and he was holding a bottle of ice-cold happy water in his right hand. Had a great time eating. Lin Yi's operation silenced the entire conference room. No, although your performance was perfect. But don't you take us lightly. The examiner who had been monitoring Lin Yi's copy opened his mouth. He wanted to turn on the speaker and issue a warning to Lin Yi. Candidates are asked not to be too presumptuous during the test. But then I thought about it, he seemed a little unworthy. This man is the ultimate ruthless person who directly scored full marks in the first two rounds. Maybe after today's exam, it will soar into the sky. In addition, there is no provision in the examination regulations that eating is not allowed during the examination. Of course, the premise is that these foods do not provide buffs. After finishing a big chicken leg, Lin Yi picked up the coke and drank a few more gulps. Cool, wiped his mouth. Then, there were a few more bags of potato chips beside him. The spicy konjac was delicious. Even though the system in the dungeon had already prompted that the second round of testing was over and the third round would begin in one minute, Lin Yi didn't look nervous at all. This kid, something's wrong. A group of Dongjong bosses in the examination center. They all have twitching faces. They have really never seen such a candidate, and they really don't pay attention to the National College entrance examination at all. But he is terrifyingly strong. Li Yuanjing suddenly smiled mysteriously, and then said, You have character, I like it. And although he looks lazy, he actually takes exams very seriously. In the last round, as soon as those 20 goblins appeared, he reacted instantly and used fourth level magic to kill them. If you don't prepare in advance and stay focused, you won't be able to do this. As a leader, you have to look at things more carefully than the average person. Only when Li Yuanjing mentioned it did everyone realize it. Lin Yi only looked relaxed on the surface, but in fact he was taking this exam seriously, and his evaluation of Lin Yi was immediately higher. This can only show that this young man is much more mature mentally than his peers. As the second round comes to an end. The rankings have also changed. The points from the two rounds are added up to arrive at the current ranking. The entire top 100 rankings have undergone earth-shaking changes. Lots of ranking changes. There are also a lot of new names on the list. However, Lin Yi, who was at the top of the list, remained unmoved. Outside the examination room, as the second round ends, the rankings are released again. Everyone was shocked again. Cumulative points ranking. 
Current round. Second round ended. First place. Lin Yi, occupation. Mage, place of examination. Zhongchang, points, 2000. Why is it him again? This Lin Yi is so awesome. After two rounds, he still got a perfect score. I'm from Zhongchang. Our place is too poor and remote. I didn't expect that such a super dark horse would come out. 6666. I just like to see this kind of script where the dark horse crushes all the well-known talents. To be honest, I guess those so-called Dongjong geniuses must be sweating now. Happy, if you like watching, come more. I am also from Zhongchang. My wife and children are all in my hometown. I came to Tianai to work. Come on, fellow fellow. Lin Yi, come on for me. Come on, it's best to be first in the next round and win first place in the province. Those who watched the excitement did not think it was a big deal. Especially to most people, Lin Yi is like himself in another world. Ordinary background, an ordinary career, but relying on hard power, he trampled all the dazzling new stars in Dongjong under his feet. So cool. Ever since, Lin Yi, a candidate without any family or power support. At this moment, he received the support of the widest audience. Return to the copy. One minute passed quickly. Soon the countdown to the third round began. The rules of the third round were also announced to all candidates in due time. Attention all candidates. The third round of tests is about to begin. This round of tests will test your long-term output endurance. After 10 seconds, a goblin giant will be refreshed in front of you. The attributes of this monster are set as unlimited HP, armor value and magic resistance are both zero. This round of exams is limited to 30 minutes. Please cause as much damage to the monster as possible within the time limit. The points for this round will be distributed according to the total damage caused to the target after the time is up. Please note that during the 30-minute test, five Agile Goblin monsters will be refreshed around the Goblin Giant every 30 seconds. The monster's dual resistance is also zero, and its health is set to 3000. After refreshing, the Agile Goblin will escape at a very fast speed. If it is not killed before it successfully escapes, 10,000 points of the current total output value will be deducted. Lin Yi was also quietly listening to the rules of the third round. I have to say that the third round seems to be interesting. The first two rounds tested the burst ability against single and group, and this round tests the comprehensive output endurance. Lin Yi analyzed in his mind. Since the blood volume of the goblin giant is unlimited. Then within the limited time, if you want to cause higher damage, you need to consider the endurance problem. Take the fire mage as an example. This is a typical burst specialization. It is very fierce in the early stage of the battle. The damage may instantly pull away from other specializations. However, the mana consumption of fire spells is higher than that of other systems. After a wave of bursts, the mana is consumed too quickly and soon withers. So how to allocate the output rhythm in these 30 minutes is the ultimate test faced by all candidates. But for Lin Yi, this problem has been solved. The 10 second countdown ends. The goblin giant refreshes. And in the copy where Lin Yi is, a strong wind blows. Qi Guagong, who has been watching all this, suddenly stands up. He looks at Lin Yi in disbelief. He feels the extremely strong wind element, which is gathering towards Lin Yi. Come, and, hit, me, idiot. The goblin giant was extremely large, at least 7 or 8 meters tall, even taller than Lin Yi's molten flame demon. The moment it appeared, it opened its mouth and began to taunt. By the way, it also made a friendly gesture with its right hand that was used throughout the entire blue star and the entire earth. Coupled with that expression, it really deserved a beating. Lin Yi wanted to complain about which smart guy designed this copy. In fact, Lin Yi was wrong. All the monsters in this copy were taken from a copy in reality. And the goblin giant in reality deserved a beating. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The wind whistled around Lin Yi. The next moment, a green tornado was generated above the goblin giant's head. The strong wind formed sharp spikes like needles, constantly attacking the goblin giant's flesh. Wind level 4th level spell, Storm Cyclone. Lin Yi chose this spell because it is the spell with the highest total damage that can be caused by a single release in a long-term battle. Storm Cyclone. Type. Active Skill. Level. Level 4. Section. Storm System. Consumption. 
4,000 mana. Chanting time, 3.5 seconds. Cooling time, none. Effect, guide the wind element to form a huge tornado, attack all targets within the affected range, and cause 5 wind attribute damage to all targets per second. After attacking the target, the storm cyclone will no longer move, and will continue to rotate, causing damage continuously, with a maximum duration of 30 minutes. Note, strong wind, listen to my command, all 4th level spells of the elemental system. They are all range spells. This is the characteristic of the mage profession. The wind system is no exception. It's just that the damage of this spell inherits the consistent tradition of the wind system. Dash, 125. Dash, 136. Dash, 207. Critical hit. The damage number is only 1 or 200. It is completely incomparable to the fire system's damage value of tens of thousands. Scraping. But it scrapes very quickly. And it lasts very long. Once a storm cyclone is summoned, it will last for a full half an hour before dissipating. For a clumsy monster like the goblin giant who can only stand there and sneer, he can take all the damage for 30 minutes. Using this mechanism, Lin Yi continued to summon storm cyclones. 5, 10, 20. The number of storm cyclones covering the goblin giant is rising at an extremely terrifying speed. Dozens of storm cyclones bombarded the goblin giant together. The frequency of damage caused per second is terrifyingly high. 20 storm cyclones can achieve 100 attacks per second. Such a high frequency of attack. The goblin giant, who was just madly sneering, was trembling in the mouth, and his throat was like a cassette, unable to make any sound. Its huge body was also shaking wildly, looking funny and hilarious. This scene stunned countless people in the examination center. Qi Guagong even stood up. Looking at Lin Yi on the screen, his brain was working wildly. He still couldn't forget everything he saw when he rushed to help Kanglin City more than 10 days ago. Is it him? It's him. Right, right, no, right, right. No, no, Qi Guagong's mind was constantly affirming and denying. The same fire and wind dual cultivation. The same young mage. But a person with extremely terrifying magic control, and can release the 7th level fire and 7th level wind magic at the same time. This kid in front of him is only level 42 and has just turned 2. Even if there is a mysterious talent blessing, can he do this? The probability is too small. However, as a mage, his intuition has been reminding Qi Guagong. All of this is related. Even the matter of Fei Lai Ka Yin in the city of Passing Light is related to this young man. But Reason rejected all his guesses. Mr. Qi, what's wrong with you? Although Li Yuanjing was also amazed that Lin Yi could actually use wind spells. But he was an archer after all. He didn't know much about the spells of mages. Qi Guagong's thoughts were interrupted by Li Yuanjing, and finally, he could only shake his head, nothing. I just have some, unrealistic guesses. Li Yuanjing wanted to ask something else. But after the third round started, the list in the upper right corner of the big screen was refreshed after a short delay. Current round. Third round. Real-time list. No one. Candidate Lin Yi. Cumulative output. 53,696. No two. Candidate Qi Shying. Cumulative output. 11,833. No three. Candidate Li Zerui. Cumulative output. 10,236. No four. Candidate Ding Chuching. Cumulative output, 9,691. Number 5, Candidate Fang Ming, Cumulative output, 9,527. Because this round is about output value, the list is updated in real time. What remains unchanged is that Lin Yi is still far ahead. The gap with the second place is nearly five times. And if anyone looks carefully, they will find that the gap is gradually widening. Because as the number of storm cyclones increases, Lin Yi's DPS damage per second is also rising. The next second after seeing the list, countless people exclaimed again. It's him again. He's still number one. Such high damage, what spell did he use? This kid is actually a dual cultivation mage. Too amazing, how did he get so many skill points? But why doesn't he use fire spells? Doesn't the fire spell have higher damage? The fire spell consumes more mana, so this kind of test of endurance must give priority to cost effectiveness. In the exam copy, more than 10 minutes have passed since the start of the third round. 
Li Zerui wanted to vomit blood. In the second round of group burst output, he lost to Qi Shying, and he accepted it. But in this round of endurance test, he was determined to win. Because the legendary profession of alloy super cyborg has unlimited ammunition. It just takes time to reload. As long as he controls the rhythm. In these 30 minutes, he can guarantee that he can output anytime and anywhere. Absolutely non-stop. Other professionals will definitely experience fatigue and interrupted output in the second half of this round of testing, and will be unable to continue. With the score of this round, he is confident that he can rush to the top of the list. And he knows that Lin Yi, who ranked first in the first two rounds, has a strong burst. So at the beginning, when he saw Lin Yi at the top of the list, even if the gap was five times, he was not too anxious. Because in his opinion, Lin Yi only started to be fierce at this time. He must have withered in the future. Who knows? At this moment on the list, he is in second place. He caused an output of more than 100,000. He pulled the output of Qi Shying, who was in third place, close to 20,000. And what about the first place? Now the output has exceeded 1 million. It's too amazing. Even if Lin Yi stops output now, Li Zerui also believes that it is impossible to catch up with his output. But the next second when he fell into despair, he suddenly saw the list floating in the air. The total output number of Lin Yi, who ranked first, suddenly flashed, and then the damage amount from millions of levels was directly reduced to zero. Chapter 51 Not only Li Zerui, but all the Dongzhong geniuses who aspire to be in the top 10 and have been paying attention to the trends on the list have noticed. The next moment, after Lin Yi's damage amount returned to zero, his ranking also disappeared. Li Zerui took Lin Yi's previous position and jumped to first place. What happened? What's the situation? This abnormal situation was immediately discovered by everyone in the examination center. Lin Yi's ranking, which was originally far ahead, instantly disappeared from the rankings. The scene that followed left them stunned. In the middle of the big screen, in Lin Yi's exclusive test copy, the giant goblin's huge body slowly fell. Ah, I really can't fight anymore. Boom, the giant's corpse fell down and made a loud noise. Lin Yi actually killed this goblin giant. Report, report. The copy of candidate Lin Yi has a situation we have never seen before. The monster that was supposed to have infinite health was killed by him. Li Yuanjing frowned. What exactly is going on? Is there a bug in the mechanism? We're checking. Find out the results quickly. Yes, for a time, all the staff in the entire examination center who were responsible for maintaining copies broke out in cold sweat. They all realized that if this matter was not handled well, it would probably be a major accident. Lin Yi's results disappeared directly from the rankings. It also shocked all the candidates taking the exam at this moment. What's going on? Why did Lin Yi disappear? Didn't he already have more than a million in terror output just now? Isn't he cheating? Speculations like this arise in everyone's mind. After all, if there hadn't been any accident, how could the good number one on the list suddenly disappear? And the exaggerated output just now is also stimulating everyone's nerves. The first output has exceeded 1 million. And the second output is just about to break through 100,000. Is this reasonable? Is this scientific? It's not cheating. How else can you explain it? For a time, many candidates whose blood pressure skyrocketed due to Lin Yi's extremely dazzling results, and whose mentality was on the verge of bursting. I feel like my thoughts are all clear. People are like this. When they encounter a situation that they cannot understand, they will subconsciously deny it. Moreover, you can't look down upon other people's good deeds. Ha 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 ha, it seems like, I said this kid must be up to something. He must be cheating, he must be cheating. Zhao Kai saw Lin Yi drop from the first place on the list and disappear. Everyone was overjoyed. He was slapped in the face by Lin Yi in various ways before, and now his face is almost swollen into a pig's head. To say that he has no grudges against Lin Yi. That is impossible. Now that Lin Yi has been sanctioned for cheating, he's just popping the champagne. And, most importantly, although he is not in the top 10 on the list at this moment, but Zhao Kai himself estimated that his ranking should be around the top 50 in the province. Now that Lin Yi is missing, his ranking can be improved to a higher level. As for Li Zerui and Qi Shying, who are really at the top of the list. 
They did not speculate on Lin Yi with the worst possible intentions like Zhao Kai. They don't know whether there was cheating or not. All they knew was that the dark clouds that had been hanging over their heads had been temporarily dispelled. The oppressive feeling of a million level output is no longer there. They all felt that they had cleared the clouds and seen the light. Call. After taking a long breath, their minds were focused again. There are still 10 minutes left before the end of this round of exams. These 20 minutes of high intensity output and attacks are actually very tiring. If the first two rounds can be said to be sprints, so this round is an ultra long distance run that tests endurance. Examination Center. Although engineers and professionals throughout Dongjiang province who are responsible for maintaining the stability of this national college entrance examination copy are working overtime and working together to investigate what happened to Lin Yi's copy. However, they found nothing. Judging from the data fed back from the background, the first thing that can be confirmed is that this examinee did not cheat. All the skills he uses come from himself. There is no external assistance and all of his own status and buff effects are monitored at all times. Completely eliminates the possibility of cheating. So something went wrong with the goblin giant that was set to have unlimited health. No problem. Its values and mechanisms are all normal. Everyone was confused for a moment. There was a hint of fear in Lin Yi's eyes. How did he do it? Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong are also thinking about this issue. But soon Li Yuanjing discovered a detail that surprised him. This kid seems not surprised by the current situation. Qi Guagong was reminded like this and immediately seemed to realize something. He exclaimed, Wait a minute, Yuan Jing, does this monster you created really have unlimited health? Li Yuanjing shook his head, Of course it can't really have unlimited health. Wouldn't that mean he is truly invincible? The demon god of the abyss doesn't even have infinite health. This copy used for the National College Entrance Examination was extracted from the Abyssal Plane by our Daxia Master Zhou Chenyi relying on spiritual crystal technology. After extracting it, he made drastic changes to this copy. Because it is no longer dominated by Blue Star Heavenly Dao and Abyss Will, all values of this copy can be changed at will. But true invincibility is impossible to achieve. All the monsters and boss we have encountered so far that have the status of invincible are actually limited invincibility. There are many restrictions and specific circumstances, and there is a certain damage ignoring an immortality mechanism. The same goes for this goblin giant. Although the blood volume is set to be infinite, it must have a condition for being destroyed. I don't know what this condition is. Qi Guagong heard this, lost in thought again, not long after, his eyes lit up and he took a deep breath. Then he said, I think. I understand. Let the people in the technical department check the number of hits that Goblin Giant has received. If my guess is correct, although the blood volume of this monster is set to be unlimited, once the number of hits exceeds a certain upper limit, the instant death mechanism will be triggered. Li Yuanjing heard this. He was also startled. Then nod. He also remembered. In the Abyss Dungeon, some boss's invincibility mechanism is like this. As long as he doesn't withstand a certain number of attacks, he will never die or even lose blood. Once it takes enough hits, it will enter a defense-breaking, vulnerable state. At that time, it is the best time to output. When most teams target this type of boss, they will bring output professions with higher attack levels to pass the level together, and then reserve explosive skills. After the boss breaks through the defense, burst out and take away one set. Li Yuanjing took a deep breath. He looked at Lin Yi on the screen. If everything is as he and Qi Guagong calculated, this kid will once again create a record that no one has broken even since the college entrance examination system was established in Daxia. He is the first person to defeat, Invincible. How's it going? Have you found out the reason? Li Yuanjing called his subordinates to come over and ask questions. However, the only answer he got was that Lin Yi was fine, there were no bugs in the copy, and everything was normal. As for why Lin Yi was able to kill the goblin giant with unlimited health, they knew nothing. Li Yuanjing was not angry. Even the details reported by his subordinates can further support his and Qi Guagong's speculations. And they did their part. The rest is beyond their control. Li Yuanjing continued to order, report to the imperial capital. Let them get involved in this matter. Only those who have the authority to view the lowest structure and logic of our National College Entrance Examination copy. 
The subordinates were all shocked. Deputy Director Lee. Please, please give us a little more time. We will definitely find out the cause and fix the problem. This matter really went to Dijing. That would confirm the fact that they are incompetent. Naturally, he planned to continue to fight for a chance from Li Yuanjing. However, Li Yuanjing comforted him, report it, this is not something you can thoroughly investigate, and I don't mean to blame you. If you really want to blame the Imperial Capital General Administration, I, the Deputy Director, is taking the blame. What are you afraid of? Yes, everyone said this when they saw Li Yuanjing. The subordinate immediately went to do it. Comma, five minutes later. At this moment, 28 minutes have passed since the third round of testing began. In two minutes, this round of testing will be over. And Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong finally waited for the news from the Imperial Capital Education Administration. Report, Deputy Director, we just received the cause of the accident and handling suggestions from our colleagues in the technical department of the General Administration. The dungeon monster that candidate Lin Yi encountered this time, the goblin giant was killed because its built-in instant death mechanism was triggered. This monster has an infinite HP limit in the underlying structure. But it has a life bar with 1 million hits. You can understand that on the surface, it has an infinite health bar, but in fact, its life bar exists. Every time you are attacked, your health will be reduced by 1 point. After reaching 1 million hits, its real life bar will return to zero, and it will naturally die. Colleagues from the Imperial Capital Technology Department have asked their top officer for instructions. The relevant opinion is that the candidate did not use any abnormal means to conduct the test, but accidentally triggered the monster's instant death mechanism. Therefore, this round of testing should be considered as passed, and the score should be full marks. In addition, it seems that the top officer has developed a great interest in this candidate named Lin Yi and requested us to divert the specific test scenes of the next round to them. Li Yuanjing and Qi Guagong both looked surprised. Good guy, the real big guys in Imperial Capital are all interested in Lin Yi. But if you think about it carefully, this is completely normal. To kill the goblin giant, one million attacks are required. Normal candidates, who can do this? But this Lin Yi is not normal. Storm Cyclone provides 5 attacks per second. Just now, this kid summoned at least 4 to 500 Storm Cyclones on the Goblin Giant. As a result, the number of attacks the Goblin Giant suffered per second was close to 3,000. That's 180,000 times a minute. It is reasonable to finally reach 1 million attack stages and completely kill this monster. Qi Guagong analyzed how Lin Yi did it from the professional perspective of a wind mage. But he still felt excited. He is also a wind mage. It's a pity that when he took the National College Entrance Examination, he could only use the most basic wind blade technique. As for high-level spells like Storm Cyclone, he has never even heard of it. It is possible to look at the entire Great Shaw, or even throughout the thousand years of history after the catastrophic era. There will never be another Lin Yi. Li Yuanjing listened to the analysis. The originally serious face showed joy again. The senior officials of the education department in Imperial Capital cast their eyes on Lin Yi. Naturally, the performance of the entire Dongzhong in this National College entrance examination will also come into their eyes. The benefits that come with it are too many. Li Yuanjing waved his hand, looked at his subordinates who seemed to be asking for credit, and reprimanded, Why are you standing there? Follow the wishes of our general administration leaders. Put his ranking back to number one. Show it to the senior officials of our general administration of education. Li Yuanjing has been in politics for so many years, and his sense of smell is very sensitive. Now he felt that he had a King Bomb card. That is Lin Yi. Lin Yi, Lin Yi. Don't stretch your hips in the fourth round. If you continue to get perfect scores, you will definitely be ranked first in the province, not to mention first in the country. You will also have a chance to compete. The number one scholar in the country falls on the gold content of their Dongzhong River. Li Yuanjing didn't even dare to think about it. You know, in the past hundred years, the top picks in the country are only from the top base cities of Shanghai, Dijing, and Tianan. Imperial Capital has even taken all the top three spots in the country in the past ten years. He is already thinking about the future. Hey, hey hey hey, I'll do it right now. The subordinates were obviously very excited. 
He was so happy just now that he forgot about it. He ran away immediately, in less than a minute. In the last minute of the third round of testing, which was about to end. A name, like a bright meteor, it cut through the dark night. Retopped the list, trampled all the so-called geniuses again. Dong Zhang, your real devil is back. Current test round, third round. Rank, number one, candidate Lin Yi, current total output, infinity, points obtained, 2000. Rank, number two, candidate Li Zerui, current total output, 156,693, points obtained, calculating. Rank, number three, candidate Qi Shying, current total output, 149,688, points obtained, calculating. Comma, ah, what the hell, what does that lying aid mean? It's the infinity symbol, that's the infinity symbol, right? What are you proctors doing? Didn't he get disqualified for cheating? Explosion. In the last less than one minute of this test, no one expected it. He's back, and he brought back a damage record that they didn't even deserve to look up to. There was no specific number, only a cold symbol. That symbol meant infinity. The most exaggerated thing was that Lin Yi had already scored points. Now the third round has not officially ended. Others are still working hard to output. Even if they are exhausted and exhausted. If you deal more damage, you might get more points in the end. The rankings also change. However, Lin Yi's appearance announced the end of the competition for the first place in this round. There is no suspense anymore. 2000 points. He scored full marks again. Boom. Li Zerui looked at the name on the leaderboard. He fired another shot that went astray. But it didn't matter. He stopped firing amid the smoke. His heavy breathing and the sweat dripping down indicated that he had reached his limit. This half-hour high-intensity endurance battle. He really couldn't hold on any longer. But what really crushed him was the name. Lin Yi. This name might be his inner demon for a long time. Time is up. The third round of testing is over. The half-hour test is officially over. The third round has come to an end. The score in this round is twice as high as the previous two rounds. Because in most dungeons, super long endurance is the embodiment of the superb skills of a DPS professional. The leaderboard is refreshed again. The total points of the three rounds are added up. Once again, there is a big change in the rankings of the leaderboard. This means that most professionals must have strengths and weaknesses. There must be a trade-off between burst and endurance. This reflects the heaven-defying nature of the legendary profession. Li Zerui and Qi Shying are the only ones who have secured the top two or three positions besides Lin Yi. At the main seat in the examination center, Li Yuanjing straightened his back unconsciously. The corner of his eyes kept glancing at the surveillance cameras around the entire hall. Because at this moment, the surveillance footage on their side has been shared with the Imperial Capital through the communication crystal. Now there are countless pairs of high eyes watching them. Of course, Li Yuanjing knew that the protagonist this time would only be Lin Yi, and he was just a foil. But knowing the difficulty of the fourth round, he kept cheering for Lin Yi in his heart. Come on, kid, after passing this round, you will be the first in the province and have the qualification to participate in the fifth round. The examination notice that Lin Yi received before only said that only those who passed the first four rounds and performed well could participate in the fifth round, but there was no detailed explanation. In fact, passing the first four rounds means that the competition in the province has come to an end. The provincial ranking is determined. Those who are qualified to participate in the fifth round will compete nationwide. After the fifth round, the total score of the first four rounds plus the score will be the national ranking of Daxia in this college entrance examination. Attention, candidates, the fourth round of tests will start in 30 seconds. The rules of this round of tests will be read out below. A reminder sounded in the minds of all candidates who chose the purgatory difficulty. Li Zerui, Qi Shying and others all changed their colors. You know, the third round has just ended. They are all close to exhaustion. The mental and physical consumption is very large. For professionals like Lan Rui and Qi Shying who need mana to release skills, this is even more shocking news. Because they are almost all empty mana now. Without the help of alchemical mixtures and potions, it takes at least 10 minutes to get back to full mana. But now there is no rest between the third and fourth rounds. Too cruel. As a person who has experienced it, 
I think this difficulty is the most abnormal. Other candidates who are not in the purgatory difficulty have 10 minutes of rest and adjustment time, which is also for them to relax, but the purgatory difficulty does not have it. The third and fourth rounds are almost seamless. In the examination center, unlike Li Yuanjing, the deputy director, who knew that the senior officials of the Daxia Education Bureau were watching the broadcast at this moment, the others were not nervous. Instead, they talked aloud. Obviously, a few of them have also been beaten by this purgatory difficulty. In the copy, the rules of the fourth round were slowly explained by the system. This round of test will test your comprehensive ability. After 20 seconds, a goblin king will refresh in front of you. The attributes of this monster are set as HP 50,000, armor value and magic resistance are both 1,000. This monster will not attack, but will continuously summon his guards to attack you. There are four different types of monsters in the Goblin Guard, Warrior, Mage, Archer, and Assassin. Goblin Guards of different professions have different skills. These Guard monsters will release a large number of high damage skills that you need to avoid through displacement skills and skilled positioning. This round of exams is limited to 10 minutes, and your health will not be reset to zero during this period. Please try to avoid skills while attacking the Goblin King under the siege of all Goblin Guard monsters. After you kill the Goblin King, the points for this round of exams will be distributed according to the percentage of your remaining health. After listening to the rules, Lin Yi raised his eyebrows. This round of exams is finally closer to actual combat situations. It not only tests the burst output and endurance of all professionals, but also tests mobility and adaptability. Interesting. 20 seconds, it passes in the blink of an eye. The fourth round of exams begins with the order of the system announcement. In front of all the candidates who chose the purgatory difficulty, a goblin monster with a crown on its head, a fat and bloated body, and extremely ugly appeared. The moment the monster appeared, it screamed loudly. It was a language that humans could not understand. The next moment, three or four elite goblins wearing armor and with sturdy limbs were refreshed. In addition, the elite goblins waving staffs and holding longbows also refreshed. In an instant, there were more than a dozen elite monsters of various shapes around the Goblin King. Lan Rui gritted her teeth, forced herself to run. Because if she didn't run, her original position would be instantly filled with seven or eight sharp arrows. The attack frequency of these Goblin Guards was extremely fast, and the skills they used were also as powerful as if they were free. The biggest threat was the Guard Mage. The ice arrows of the ice system, the fire explosion spell, the wind nine consecutive wind blades, and finally the earth quicksand spell. These four spells, combined together, directly turned the area around the Goblin King into an absolute restricted area. The skills were densely packed. The space under your feet suddenly turned into quicksand, which would untangle your ankles. Slowing down to the end, it would even become a restraint. Under such conditions, you still need to attack the Goblin King. Lan Rui even felt a deep despair in her heart. Puff. What she didn't expect was that the next moment after he dodged the rain of arrows and various spells, a short and thin goblin with a dark body suddenly appeared from the shadows. He stabbed her in the back with a knife. Dash. 314. Critical hit. Lan Rui immediately felt a piercing pain. She hadn't seen the Goblin King summon the assassin-type guards before, and subconsciously forgot this. In fact, the next moment after the Goblin King summoned them, these assassin guards entered stealth mode. Disappeared from Lan Rui's sight. Although Lan Rui was a little stretched at first, she could barely cope with it. As long as she finds the rhythm and opportunities in the follow-up, and clearly understands the logic of these monster attacks, she can find opportunities to deal damage to the Goblin King. But now these old Lui Hu can stealth and attack suddenly appear. All her rhythms and plans were disrupted and the damage done by these assassins is terrifyingly high. After the assassin hits with a sneak attack from behind, there will be extra damage. The blood volume dropped rapidly, and Lan Rui could only grit his teeth in the end. Burn all the mana that has just been restored. The gravity field surrounding her soon became extremely small. She even floated into the air. Escape from the swarm of goblins at extremely fast speeds. This is the third level spell of the gravity mage, which is weightless. It cost a lot of mana. Originally, she planned to save it for the Goblin King, 
throw it high into the air, and then smash it down hard. Cause huge damage to it. But now she had no choice but to use this skill as a life-saving skill. At the same time, in other copies, I abstain. I abstain. Zhao Kai's health value at this moment has dropped to only one point. And beside him, there were dozens of elite monsters from the Goblin Guards, who were inhumanely torturing him by whipping his corpse. Even these monsters have no forced control skills. But like most fighting games, when attacked, a certain amount of stiffness will occur. And humans are not monsters. Monsters have strong stiffness resistance and toughness. But Zhao Kai didn't. When he suffered so many attacks, he even felt like he was going crazy. Lying on the ground, twitching constantly, completely unable to move. At this time, the blood locking system that comes with the copy has become the most terrifying torture. Help, I abstain. No more taking the exam, no more participating. I will never choose purgatory difficulty again. Zhao Kai never thought about the sarcastic words he said to Lin Yi before the exam started. It turned out to be a boomerang. Hit yourself. His results in the first three rounds were already disastrous, and there was no rest time in this round. Almost as soon as the Goblin King and the elite goblins of his escort appeared, his blood volume was emptied to one. Candidate Zhao Kai, do you voluntarily give up this round of exams? If you give up, you will not be able to get any points for this round of exams. A cold voice came from the sky. This is reconfirmation from the invigilators who have been monitoring all candidates. In the end, Zhao Kai abstained from this round. This means that he completely failed this exam. If he didn't succeed, he would choose nightmare difficulty. Then there is no problem for him to pass the four rounds, and the total points he can get will definitely be higher than what he gets now. A situation similar to Zhao Kai's occurred among all the candidates who chose the purgatory difficulty in the 22 examination rooms in Tianai City. A large number of candidates could not bear the intensity and torture of purgatory difficulty and voluntarily gave up the exam. In the end, only Li Zerui and other people who were indeed stronger than other peers were still struggling to support themselves. It's too awful. Look at Li Zerui and Qi Shying, they are also covered in glory. Only Lin Yi, a pervert, can face this level so easily. The differences in this world are indeed quite big. This last sigh comes from Qi Guagong because it's on the big screen right now. Almost all the candidates who choose the purgatory difficulty level are on the line between life and death. Even if you are not attacked by a monster, there is only one drop of blood left. They all got lucky too. Ten minutes, even just half a minute passed. The next nine and a half minutes will be extremely difficult for them. And there's no point in just getting through it. You must also kill the Goblin King. Otherwise, even if you dodge all the skills and don't take any damage, you won't be considered to have completed the fourth round. However, there is one exception. The center of the big screen. The copy where Lin Yi is located. Highlight a sense of tranquility and harmony. Why? Because whether it is the Goblin King or the arrogant Goblin Guards. At this moment, everything turned into lifelike ice sculptures. Frozen in place, unable to move. Others are moving around like crazy. Lin Yi stood completely motionless. Move, why move? As long as I control you all, don't I have to hide my skills? Fire, wind, ice. Three cultivations. Li Yuanjing felt that his breathing was a little short. Today's four rounds of exams. Lin Yi gave him too many shocks and too many surprises. In addition to the fire element shown in the first round and the wind element shown in the third round. He actually knows ice spells. Moreover, this kid is still using the fourth level ice skill, Blizzard. A large scale blizzard fell throughout the dungeon, and countless water mist on the ground condensed into solid ice, seeping into the bone marrow of all goblin monsters. The damage of ice skills is also very touching. Not only is the segment number low, but the numerical value is also low. But the control effect is immediate. At first, the movement speed of all monsters covered by the blizzard was greatly slowed down. Then they were imprisoned in place. Now they were completely frozen into ice sculptures. Afterwards, Lin Yi did not drag his feet and ended the suffering of these monsters directly. Boom, 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 boom. Fire level 4, fiery storm, bombarded one after another. The blazing flames collided with the extremely cold ice and snow, snowflakes flew, and sparks flew. 
The scene looked like the visual effect was full. And the damage was also full. Dozens of goblin elites guarding their king had only a trace of residual blood left when the second fiery storm hit. The third one fell and he died directly. As for the goblin king, after the fourth fiery storm hit, the frozen state disappeared. The blood volume also dropped sharply. The passive effect of the sixth level of ice bone piercing cold. After Lin Yi used the fire spell to break the ice, it directly reduced its maximum health. So even if its blood volume is much higher than that of its younger brother. Under the bombardment of four firestorms with high damage and percentage damage of maximum health. He could only scream and died on the spot. Only more than 30 seconds had passed since the start of the fourth round. Lin Yi, with a crushing attitude, passed the fourth round. The remaining nine and a half minutes were all garbage time for Lin Yi. In the conference hall of the examination center. It was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. It was not until Lin Yi killed the Goblin King in an instant that Li Yuanjing took the lead and stood up. Clap, clap, clap. He applauded. Then, all the others who witnessed this scene were also very excited. They stood up and gave Lin Yi the warmest applause and cheers. Full marks in the first round. Full marks in the second round. Full marks in the third and fourth rounds. A hexagonal warrior with no blind spots in all directions. The top scholar in the province this year, well deserved. Awesome, he got full marks in this round. Our provincial champion this year is out. This should create another historical record for Dongzhong, right? Li Yuanjing felt that he was trembling slightly. Because Lin Yi created not only one or two highest records in the history of the provincial college entrance examination, but also set a precedent. Full marks in four rounds. So far, there has never been such a super genius in their Dongzhong province. Li Yuanjing stood up and said, his exams are all over. Let him out of the copy. I think he is a little impatient. I will personally give him the rules of the fifth round and the reward for our provincial champion. Li Yuanjing's adjutant was obviously stunned for a moment. You know, in previous years, he was the one who did this. I didn't expect that the boss would do it himself this year. This is enough to show that he attaches great importance to this candidate named Lin Yi. After Li Yuanjing left the conference hall, Qi Guagong did not leave. He at least wanted to see his granddaughter's performance in the last round and talk about it after the dust settled. He took a deep look at Lin Yi on the big screen. He cultivated three skills, fire, wind and ice, and mastered the fourth level skills of the three systems perfectly. It can be seen from his ease in casting spells. This kid. His strength should be more than that. Even the four rounds of the purgatory difficulty test did not really force him to reveal his trump card. Dot dot dot. At Lin Yi's home, the clock hanging on the wall was ticking. Lin Yi's mother Xu Qingfeng took the mop and mopped the floor over and over again, even though the floor was already spotless. It can be seen that she has been doing housework this morning. Don't mop it, it's clean enough, you have mopped it at least more than ten times. Lin Guadong sat on the sofa, feeling very irritable. There was a half bottle of Xiaobai on the table, and he drank it one cup after another. Apart from this, I don't know what to do. After sending Lin Yi to the station in the morning, the couple did not go to work. They both took leave today just to take care of Lin Yi. But waiting is always the most tormenting. The whole morning passed without any information, and they waited anxiously. Lin Guadong picked up the wine glass and gulped down another glass of white wine. The strong liquor burned his esophagus, giving him an incomparable stimulation, which made him more energetic. Then, Lin Guadong took the remote control and turned on the TV. In order to save money for his son's schooling, and both parents were very busy. So the TV at home didn't have a package and didn't have many channels. When the TV was turned on, it was Dongzhong Satellite TV, which was free throughout the province. A male and a female host sat in front of the news station and said with a smile, Hello, dear audience friends, welcome to the noon news. Today is Monday, June 7. The 3024 National Vocational College Unified Entrance Examination was held in Tianai City this morning. 130,000 candidates from 34 base cities across the province passed four rounds of examinations, and the test results have been released. In accordance with the Daxia Vocational Examination Law, this station will publicize the results of the top 100 candidates in the province in accordance with the law.
Please watch the detailed information below. When the TV was turned on, it was exactly 12 noon. Dongjong Satellite TV, a mainstream media, also began to release the results of the province in the traditional media way. Xu Qingfang stopped what he was doing and looked at the TV. Lin Guadong also stared at the TV. On the TV, the top 100 rankings of the province were released. Due to the limitation of the picture frame, the list can only be played in groups of 20. And the list after 50 only has the name, place of origin and corresponding occupation. Before the 50th place, the corresponding candidate's photos also appeared in groups of 10. As they watched, Xu Qingfang and Lin Guadong lost interest. Because the list on TV at this moment has reached the group of 31st to 40th place. Of course, they can't see Lin Yi. But the couple didn't have any expectations for this. Dong Dong. Just then, there was a knock on the door. Lin Guadong got up and opened the door, and saw a middle-aged man with a fat body outside the door. Guadong, the exam is over, let's go and pick up the children. Drive my car, just in time to pick up your son. This man's name is Joe Hepping, and he is from the same mining company as Lin Guadong. But Lin Guadong is an ordinary miner. Joe Hepping is the office director of the asset department. His usual work is much easier than Lin Guadong's, and his income is much higher. Lin Guadong smiled and said, Director Zhou, no need. I also rented a car. I can pick them up myself later. Zhou Hepping waved his hand. Guadong, you smell of alcohol. You must have drunk a lot just now. How dare you drive? Stop talking nonsense. Xiaoliang called me just now. He did well in the exam and ranked in the top 5,000 in the province. He should be able to choose a good school for his application. What about Xiaoyi? Hasn't he called you yet? This kid doesn't even know how to report to you that he's safe, so you don't have to worry about it. The Xiaoliang mentioned by Zhou Heping was naturally his son. Lin Guadong was stunned. He was also wondering why this somewhat harsh office director on weekdays would be so kind today and take the initiative to invite him to pick up the children together. So he came to show off here. For a moment, Xu Qingfeng's face was a little ugly. She had heard her husband complain to her many times about Director Zhou's troubles. Now he had to take the initiative to show off his son's achievements when they were most anxious. Even if Xu Qingfeng had a good temper, she wanted to curse at this moment. Lin Guadong glanced at his wife and forced himself to suppress the anger in his heart. There was no way, if he wanted to continue working in the future, he really couldn't offend the director of the asset department. Just when he was about to pinch his nose and agree, the TV that had just been turned on finally played the top 10 list of the province this year. The top 10 had a higher standard. Not only were there photos, but there were also special voice reports. The following is the result of this year's National College Entrance Examination, the top scorer in Dongzhang Province. Candidate Lin Yi, from Zhongcheng based city, scored 8,000 points in four rounds of examinations, the highest score in the history of the province's own college entrance examination system. It is reported that in the four rounds of tests in this college entrance examination, Lin Yi has broken nine provincial records and created three new national college entrance examination records. Dot, dot, dot. The news anchors on TV seemed to be a little excited. They were talking about Lin Yi's achievements. But in reality, click, the mop in Xu Qingfang's hand fell to the ground. She didn't know it at all. Because she saw a photo of her son on TV. It's him. It's really him. The next moment, Xu Qingfang covered her mouth and nose with both hands, and tears couldn't stop falling. Lin Guadong's eyes were also red, and he saw the big words, top scorer in the province, written on the big TV screen. He wanted to roar in his heart. All the hard work over the past 10 years is worth it at this moment. Xiao Yi is the top scorer. The first in the province. As for Zhou Hepping, who was smiling and proud just now, he felt like a thunderclap in his ears. Ah, Lin Guadong's son got the first place in the province. First, next, let us congratulate the top 10 candidates in the province this year. They will represent our Dongzhang province and go to Dijing to participate in the fifth round of the final test to determine the final ranking of this national college entrance examination. The noon news is still on the air. The output on Zhou Heping's psychological defense line has never stopped. Now he feels that his old face is about to be swollen.
The experience of being shown off by others when he failed to show off is really terrible. Lin Guadong will certainly not miss this opportunity. He will not miss this matter of finishing off the knife. Xiao Yi is really not very sensible. He didn't tell us in advance that he was going to Dijing to take the last round of exams. Well, Director Zhou, thank you for your kindness. Xiao Yi may come back later. I can rent a car to pick him up at that time. We appreciate your kindness. Xu Qingfeng also walked to Lin Guadong's side without knowing when. She took her husband's hand very virtuously. She looked at Zhou Heping with a smile. Zhou Heping felt like a clown. He nodded quickly and said, Well, I won't bother you anymore. Ding Ling Ling. Just as he was about to run away, the phone in his pocket suddenly rang. Zhou Heping answered the phone after walking out of the Lin family's door. He was originally angry, but when he heard the voice of the person on the other end, he immediately became respectful. Chairman, why did you call me in person? If you have anything, just let Xiao Liao notify me. Zhou Heping originally thought that the biggest boss of his company had found him, maybe there was something good. Who knew that the next sentence of the person on the other end of the phone would make him dumbfounded? Xiao Zhou, this is it, I heard from Xiao Zhang that you and a worker named Lin Guadong in our company are neighbors, right? The contact number he left on the list couldn't be reached, so I came to you. Are you at home now? Can you contact him? Zhou Heping had a bad feeling in his heart. It was understandable that the chairman of their Dingsheng Mining would come to him, but what bad things could happen if he directly found a worker? It must be a good thing. Zhou Heping had a bad feeling in his heart. But he could only bite the bullet and said, Yes, yes, he is next to me. Then give him the phone. Zhou Heping handed his mobile phone to Lin Guadong. Lin Guadong looked puzzled. Zhou Heping, the chairman has something to talk to you. Lin Guadong took the phone. A few minutes later, he returned the phone to Zhou Heping. Then he told his wife Xu Qingfeng about the situation with a confused look on his face. The factory said that I performed well and my performance was up to standard. Tomorrow I will be promoted to director of the asset department. Xu Qingfeng was overjoyed, plus her son's good grades. Today is a double happiness. Guadong, then you don't have to go to the mine. Lin Guadong also smiled, showing a row of neat white teeth. No, I will also sit in the office in the future, and my salary has increased more than ten times. Joe Hepping, he heard the sound of his heart breaking. What's going on? One phone call, and he became the most ordinary worker under his command. He suddenly became his immediate boss. What the hell? Dot dot dot. Tianai City, the first examination room. Lin Yi stepped out of the dungeon light curtain. Half a minute ago, he received a message that his four rounds of exams were all over. So he teleported out in advance. That's good, so he doesn't have to sit in a daze in that deserted dungeon space. He's had enough snacks and cola. Others are here to take the exam, but you look like you're here for a vacation. As soon as he came out of the dungeon, Lin Yi saw a middle-aged man in the uniform of the Daxia Education Bureau, looking at him with a smile. Congratulations, Lin Yi, you won the first place in Dongzhang province this year. And it's a perfect first place. Before the exam, none of us thought that the first place in our province this year would be someone we had never heard of. Lin Yi, didn't they say there was a fifth round of exams? Perhaps because he had seen the king-level bosses such as the alienated Death Knight and the Shadow Demon Spider, Lin Yi's current vision is much higher than most of his peers. The monsters in these four rounds of exams were not even worthy of warming him up. So he didn't take Li Yuanjing's praise to heart. Instead, he calmly asked his own questions. In Li Yuanjing's eyes, this was a plus point worthy of praise. This young man's mentality is far beyond his peers. Let me introduce myself first. I am Li Yuanjing, Deputy Director of the Dongzhong Provincial Education Bureau. You can call me Uncle Li. Then answer your question. There is a fifth round, but it will not be tested here, but in the Imperial Capital. You can have a good rest at noon, and I will personally send you to the Imperial Capital in the afternoon. Even I don't know much about the details of the fifth round of testing but it must be a special copy extracted from the abyss world. The difficulty and mechanism will be explained to you after you arrive in the imperial capital. This is also the reason why you must confirm that you must have the abyss entrance title. Okay, that's all about the fifth round. 
I'm here today mainly to meet you and give you a reward. Lin Yi's heart moved. He thought, there is indeed a reward. But on the surface, he was neither humble nor arrogant, neither happy nor sad. Come here. Li Yuanjing waved at Lin Yi. When Lin Yi approached, he took out a black scroll. After crushing it, Lin Yi felt a flash in front of his eyes. It was as if he had entered a teleportation array, and the world was spinning. The next moment, Lin Yi found that the surrounding scenery had changed. He had come to a new underground space. This is the underground treasure room of the Education Bureau. Give me your professional serial number first, and I'll have someone transfer the money to you. The reward for the first place in our province is 1 million Daxia coins, which can be regarded as a scholarship for you. Don't think it's too little. In addition, there is a 1000 point tradable skill point scroll, which is also a fixed reward. For the remaining two rewards, you can choose a T2 level treasure in the treasure list, and pick a skill book in your professional skill book list to receive it. Lin Yi was shocked. Wow, 1000 tradable skill points. Based on the current Blue Star Standard price, this is far more than 1 million Daxia coins. Even if it is those aristocratic families, if they are not the top ones. To give 1000 skill points to his younger generation in an instant, it is not a small amount. But these 1000 skill points are just chicken ribs for him. So Lin Yi said, well, Uncle Li, can you help me exchange this 1000 point tradable skill point scroll for other rewards? Li Yuanjing looked at Lin Yi in surprise. In his opinion, most people would not refuse skill points. But this kid actually refused and planned to exchange for other rewards. Li Yuanjing realized that maybe this kid wanted to get more rare treasures in the treasury. So he shook his head. This is a fixed reward, and it cannot be replaced with treasures in the treasury. Lin Yi also shook his head and said, No, I don't want to exchange it for treasures in the treasury, but for money. Li Yuanjing was stunned. You don't want skill points, you want money. What's wrong with you, young man? Are you obsessed with money? Are you sure you want to exchange it for money? I must remind you that from a pure value perspective, the money that can be exchanged for 1000 tradable skill points cannot buy 1000 skill points. Lin Yi certainly understood this truth. But for him, the value of money is much higher than these 1000 skill points. Lin Yi nodded and said, I'm sure. Li Yuanjing looked at Lin Yi for a second longer. He soon thought that even though this kid had already won the first place in the province, he seemed to have overlooked a key point. That is his origin, from a level 5 base city like Zhongcheng. He himself has no family background. He must have made countless times more efforts than ordinary people, plus the adventure, to achieve today's achievements. For an ordinary professional, how difficult it is to rely on oneself without relying on others. He can't empathize, but he can understand. Even Li Yuanjing has already imagined that Lin Yi's family is extremely difficult, and this kid is planning to make more money to make up for the family expenses. He took a deep breath and said, let's put it this way. According to the relevant regulations of our Daxia treasury, if you don't want the skill points and want to exchange them for Daxia coins, there will definitely be a loss. The loss is about 20%, but I will pay for this 20% today. Your 1000 tradable skill points can be exchanged for about 5.35 million Daxia coins, which will be sent to your card together with the 1 million scholarship later. Okay, now there is one reward left for you to choose. Take a look at the list. After you decide, tell me and I will send someone to pick it up immediately. As he spoke, Li Yuanjing led Lin Yi to a treasure window. There was no staff at this window, only a spiritual crystal. He used his deputy director's authority card to swipe it on the spiritual crystal sensor port, and the next moment, the spiritual crystal light screen lit up. He clicked a few more times, set the filter function on the treasure list interface, set the ladder to level 2, and stepped aside to let Lin Yi check it himself. Lin Yi walked to the light curtain, touched the list with his finger, and slid up and down. Then, he was shocked by the preciousness of the things on the list. First of all, the breakthrough magic crystal that Lin Yi had been thinking about before was on this list. Although the rating was also T2, the number of pieces that could be obtained at one time was 3, which was more than enough to unlock his own necromancy branch skill tree. In addition, Lin Yi saw a lot of good things that he had never seen or even heard of. Attribute magic crystal, spirit. Grade. Gold grade. 
Type. Disposable consumable. Use. Allows you to randomly obtain 5 to 10 points of spiritual attribute value. Note. The upper limit of the attribute value you can obtain through the attribute magic crystal of this grade is 999 points. After exceeding this limit, the attribute magic crystal of this grade will not take effect on you. Lin Yi learned from the notes that this thing is a deep processed product made by combining the magic crystal technology currently discovered by the blue star human race from the abyss with the spiritual objects of heaven and earth, that is, the treasures of heaven and earth, and finally through alchemy. It can actually give attribute points directly, in addition to the magic crystals that can increase attribute points. Lin Yi also saw special magic crystals that can increase critical strikes and chanting speed. However, the grades of these two magic crystals are only bronze grade, and the increased attributes, such as critical strikes, are only 0.05%. Then T1 level treasures should have higher grade magic crystals of this type. Maybe there are magic crystals that reduce skill cooldowns. It is indeed a good thing, and Lin Yi is a little jealous. In addition to magic crystals with different functions, Lin Yi also saw a large number of spiritual objects that also provide permanent bonuses. There are also various scrolls. These scrolls can increase the experience points obtained by professionals. Some are also admission passes to certain rare resource copies. Even at the end of the list, Lin Yi saw equipment. And all these equipments are above platinum level. The attribute bonus is very high, and the special effects are also good. However, these equipments are not permanently obtained after selection. The usage time is marked in detail on it. That's right, these equipments are rented to you. After selection, you will get one month of usage time, and it will be recorded by the Daxia State-Owned Equipment Management System. If anything happens, you will still be held accountable. And if it is damaged, you have to pay the price. Lin Yi shook his head, he would not do such a big injustice. The props at the end of the list have a lower cost performance. Forget about the rental equipment, Lin Yi also saw a lot of engineering creations, such as portable fragmentation mines that can create large-scale explosions. There are also various potions with extremely strong effects but duration. After reading all the lists, Lin Yi finally decided to take the breakthrough magic crystal first. This thing is too critical for him. After hearing Lin Yi's final choice, Li Yuanjing showed an unexpected expression. Most people, like you, chose the breakthrough magic crystal. Come on, if you can get a good ranking in the fifth round, our Daxia official will also give you a reward. Li Yuanjing asked his men to fetch the breakthrough magic crystal and personally delivered it to Lin Yi. It was a wooden box. Lin Yi opened the box and saw three crystals inside, which were translucent, gleaming with a faint crimson light and surrounded by black air. Breakthrough Magic Crystal. Grade. Diamond Grade. Type. Disposable Consumable. Effect 1. Unlock the Side Skill Tree. Effect 2. Increase the level of one of your skill specialization by one level. Effect 3. Before entering the Abyss Dungeon, sacrifice a certain number of this item to increase the difficulty of the Abyss Dungeon by one level. Note. Only one of the above effects can be selected to take effect during one use. Lin Yi was a little surprised. I didn't expect that breaking through the magic crystal would have a special effect, which is to increase the difficulty of the Abyss Dungeon. In this way, the value of his title Abyss Conqueror is immeasurable. It is equivalent to saving him a huge amount of money on breaking through the magic crystal. After all, when his level rises in the future, most of his time will be spent in the Abyss Dungeon. Higher difficulty means higher rewards. Okay, there is one last reward you need to choose, which is the skill book. Choose one and receive it. Li Yuanjing adjusted the treasure house light screen, and the next moment, a list of skill books of the mage profession appeared in front of Lin Yi. It was the first time that Lin Yi knew that there were so many types of elemental specializations in the mage profession. Fire, wind, ice, water, earth. These are the more common elemental specializations. So the skill books in the skill book list are all level 3. Otherwise, they would not be worthy of the rarity of the T2 level. In addition, Lin Yi also saw the more rare elemental specializations. Light, dark, thunder, wood. The only thing missing was the necromancy that he had already obtained. It seems that the necromancy skill book is more precious than these elemental specializations. I was really lucky at the beginning. After thinking about it, Lin Yi finally chose the thunder system. 
There is no other reason. He simply felt that the King of Thunder and Lightning was very impressive. The place where the skill book is stored seems to be behind the window where Lin Yi and Li Yuanjing are. So after Lin Yi made his choice, he also quickly got the skill book of the Thunder System. Skill book. Electric shock. Type. Skill book classic. Profession. Mage. Learnable level. LV.5. Level. Level 1. Effect. After use, you will learn the skill, electric shock. Lin Yi pinched this skill book and used it directly. Thunder System Specialization is the orthodox skill tree of the mage, so there is no need to use the breakthrough magic crystal to use it. Li Yuanjing saw Lin Yi's move and his heart moved. This kid has mastered another series of magic specializations. He won't become a four-trained mage in a very short time, right? Then, Li Yuanjing himself denied this idea in his heart. Because at present, except for the God of War level characters, there is really no one in the entire Blue Star who can specialize in more than four series of skills at the same time. Not only mages, but other professions also have specializations. Specializing in multiple branches at the same time not only doubles the skill points consumed, but also consumes a lot of energy for the professional. After all, all skill proficiency requires the professional to practice again and again to increase. The reason why Lin Yi is now specialized in three branches of fire, wind and ice is probably because he has some talent that can directly improve the specialized spells by two or three levels. It makes him look like a three practice. In fact, it is because of the talent bonus that his starting point is a little higher than others. Thinking about it this way, everything seems to be reasonable. Okay, all the rewards for you have been distributed. Li Yuanjing raised his hand to look at his watch while speaking, and then continued, take this teleportation scroll. After using it, you will be teleported to the teleportation hall dedicated to our education bureau. I will wait for you there at 3 p.m. and personally send you to Dijing to participate in the last round of national examinations. Remember, don't be late. In the remaining time, you can go shopping in Tianai, or if you want to rest, I will also find someone to arrange a single apartment for you. Lin Yi took the teleportation scroll handed over by Li Yuanjing. Then he said, the time is too short, so let's not go shopping. There will be plenty of opportunities in the future. Uncle Li, please arrange a single room for me. Li Yuanjing nodded. More than 10 minutes later, Lin Yi stepped into the door of his temporary apartment. This was originally an apartment for the Dongzhong Education Bureau to receive VIPs. Someone has always been cleaning it, and the comfort level is also very high. Lin Yi was very satisfied. Lying on the soft big bed, Lin Yi took out his mobile phone and took a look. Sure enough, half an hour ago, he received a text message. It was a text message from Daxia Bank. At this moment, his deposit balance has soared from more than 1 million to more than 7 million. With the money in place, there are many more things that can be operated. Lin Yi had never thought that he would gain so many things in half a day. It seems that only by relying on a national behemoth can more resources be obtained, this is true. Lin Yi didn't know how much shock his current strength had brought to Li Yuanjing and others. But this was all Lin Yi's intention. Take the fourth round for example. The combination of the Goblin King and the Royal Guards. He even killed them instantly with a seventh level spell of the Fire or Wind system. There is no need to be so troublesome with blizzards and firestorms. But Lin Yi knew that the more he showed, the more eyes he would look at him. Having lived two lives, Lin Yi was extremely cautious. And although he now mastered the forbidden spell, there is definitely a huge gap between him and the real top combat power in this world. Attribute values, equipment and even level suppression are all points that cannot be ignored. Let's not talk about whether those powerful people abroad will want to strangle him in the cradle. Just talking about Daxia, it is hard to guarantee that there will be no people coveting him. God knows whether there will be anything in this world that can plunder other people's skills and talents. He must be careful. It is this series of reasons that made Lin Yi control what he has shown so far within the fourth level. Put away these thoughts. Lin Yi took out the necromancy skill book and a breakthrough magic crystal in the portable space. Then click to use. This time, there was no message of failure to use, but a prompt popped up. Do you want to consume one breakthrough magic crystal, use the skill book, and unlock the side skill tree? Lin Yi chose yes without hesitation. 
The next moment, the skill book shattered and turned into a light spot. It merged into Lin Yi's body. Congratulations, you have unlocked the necromancy side skill tree, and you have obtained a new skill, Summon, Skeleton Soldier. Lin Yi opened his skill interface. He looked at the skill point balance. Allocated skill points. 64,132. After upgrading the forbidden spell, half a day passed and the skill points increased a lot. However, if you want to upgrade the skills of the necromancy system to a high level, these are still not enough. It's time to spend money. With a deposit of more than 7 million, Lin Yi has the confidence this time. Do you want to spend 1.45 million real money to buy 10 consecutive days of idle rewards? 10 consecutive purchases will give you an extra day of idle rewards. Just when Lin Yi was about to spend money, the system sent a prompt at the right time. The price of 1.45 million still made Lin Yi feel a little exaggerated. But after seeing that the 10 pull, ah oh no, the 10 pull purchase can give one more day, he still chose this without hesitation. Purchase successful, you get 978,912 skill points. In the blink of an eye, Lin Yi's skill point balance broke the million mark again. Opening the Necromancer Skill Mastery interface, Lin Yi began to add points. With the one-click point addition option, the process of adding points is not as painful as before. Of course, if you simply enjoy the pleasure of the ding ding ding, the skills are constantly upgraded, it is actually more fun to click madly. But Lin Yi is currently in a hurry, so he directly chooses to do it in one step. Consume 500 skill points, your summon, skeleton soldier is upgraded, and you get a new spell, summon, undead warrior. Consume 2000 skill points, your summon, undead warrior is upgraded, and you get a new spell, summon, necromancer. Consume 5000 skill points, your summon, necromancer is upgraded, and you get a new spell, resurrection of the dead. Consume 10,000 skill points, your resurrection of the dead is upgraded, and you get a new spell, rune infusion. Consume 50,000 skill points, your rune infusion is upgraded, and you get a new spell, summon, skeleton dragon. Consume 100,000 skill points, your summon, skeleton dragon is upgraded, and you get a new spell, corpse explosion. Consume 500,000 skill points, your corpse explosion is upgraded, and you get a new spell, Summon, Necromancer. This time, Lin Yi directly increased his Necromancer skills to the 8th level in one go. The moment he saw the 8th level Necromancy spell, a classic image emerged in Lin Yi's mind. Lich King, is that you? Lin Yi looked through the 8 skills and immediately understood the characteristics of the entire Necromancy skill set. The design characteristics of the entire Necromancy skill set are also very distinct compared to other systems. First of all, from level 1 to level 8, there are as many as 5 summoning spells. From the most common skeleton soldiers to the Scourge Lord, the coverage is very wide. So the characteristic of the necromancy system is that there are many people. Many people beat fewer people, and everyone dares to do it. And even the lowest level skeleton soldiers have an invincible advantage compared to other summons. That is, they have no thoughts of their own and no intelligence. They only know to act according to orders. Naturally, there will be no extra fear or hesitation. A summon that is fearless, not affected by psychology, and can fully exert its full combat power, this is the horror of the Scourge. What made Lin Yi's eyes light up were mainly three of the skills. The first is the fifth level skill Rune Infusio. Rune Infusion. Type. Active Skill. Level. Level 5. Class. Necromancer. Consumption. 8000 Mana. Channing time, none. Cooling time, none. Effect. Study the power of necromancer runes and infuse a weapon with exclusive necromancer enchantment effects. Blood rune. Enchant a melee weapon to gain the following effect. When the attack hits, 5% of the damage value is converted into health recovery for you. Plague rune. Enchant a ranged weapon to gain the following effect. When the attack hits, there is a 60% chance to add the Scourge Plague status to the target, causing the target to lose 0.5% of its maximum health per second for 10 seconds. This effect can be stacked up to 10 layers, but the effect will be weakened against high-level enemies. Curse Rune. Enchant any type of weapon to give the weapon the following effect. When the attack hits, there is a 10% chance to add any of the following abnormal states to the target. 
curse of weakness, curse of fatigue, curse of blindness, curse of choking, curse of fragility. Curse of weakness. Reduces all attribute values of the target by 10% and reduces movement speed by 25%. Curse of fatigue. Increases the cost of casting all skills of the target by 50%. Curse of blindness. Reduces the hit rate of the target's attack by 15%. Curse of choking. Extends the chanting time of all skills of the target by 30%. Curse of fragility. Reduces the target's armor value and magic resistance by 20%, and increases all damage received by 10%. Note, this enchantment effect is an exclusive enchantment effect and can be superimposed with regular enchantment effects. The duration of the above three rune enchantment effects is 72 hours. These three enchantment effects are too practical. Let's not talk about anything else. If Lin Yi wants to make money in the future, he doesn't even need to kill monsters and sell goods. Just set up an enchantment stall in the downtown area. It is estimated that there will be many customers. One enchantment, effective for three days, it is reasonable for me to charge you 58,800, right? In addition to this skill that can give Lin Yi another way to make money in the future, the seventh level corpse explosion is ALS terrifyingly powerful. Corpse explosion. Type. Active skill. Level. Seventh level. Section. Necromancer. Consumption. 10% of maximum health. Chanting time. Instant. Cooling time. None. Effect. Detonate a corpse, causing dark attribute damage equal to 20% of the original maximum health of the corpse to all targets in a large range around the corpse. If there are other corpses within the detonation area of the corpse explosion, a chain reaction will be triggered, causing all corpses within the range to explode in a chain reaction, causing dark attribute damage of 20% of the original maximum health of the test subject again. Note, don't let down a good corpse, and don't waste a bad corpse. This skill is very evil. First of all, it is not the mana that is consumed. But Lin Yi's own maximum health. Using the corpse explosion once will lose 10% of the blood. And the hidden condition for casting is that there must be a corpse. However, the skill effect is very amazing. Detonating the corpse will cause a certain proportion of the corpse's maximum health to the monsters in the range. And it will also trigger a chain reaction. For some people who like to summon monsters. For example, the combination of the Goblin King and the Guards, as long as you kill a few elite goblins of the Guards, and then use the corpse explosion, you can even blow up other Goblin Guards. Then the Guards Goblins who were blown up also turned into corpses, and the chain explosion continued. Finally, the Goblin King who was protected in the center is likely to be blown up by his most loyal subordinates. As for the last sentence of the skill note, it's simply a joke from hell. Don't let down a good corpse. It's to let you see a corpse with good qualifications, and directly use the fourth level spell resurrection of the dead to pull it up and use it as a summon, right? The bad corpse will be directly blown up, leaving no trace of its body. Finally, the eighth level skill summon, Necromancer, this one is even more heavyweight. The skill descriptions are very simple. There is only one, summoning the Necromancer to fight for you. It has not been actually used, so I have no idea how strong it is. After reading these eight skills, Lin Yi glanced at the name of the forbidden spell of the Necromancer system. Skill points required to upgrade to the next level, 1 million. Forbidden spell sticks funeral. The name sounds very dark. Then Lin Yi looked at the alienated version of the 8th level skill of the Necromancer system. Skill points required to evolve this skill, 500,000 points. Currency required to evolve this skill, 1 million Daxia coins. Skill after evolution. Summon, Calamity Lord. Unlike the Forbidden Spell Advancement, in the preview of the upgraded skill, Lin Yi can only see the name of the next level skill, but cannot view the specific effect. But Lin Yi has already obtained the 8th level skill of the Necromancer system. Naturally, he can view the specific effect of the 8th level skill after evolution. Command Calamity, Necromancer. Type, Active Skill. Level, 8th level. Section, Necromancer system. Consumption, 99,999 mana. Chanting time, 180 seconds. Cooling time, Permanent. Passive effect, With supreme authority, Command all undead creatures that are below the emperor level, with no upper limit on the number. You gain a 10,000 cubic meter dead summoning space.
All the dead creatures under your command will recuperate in the summoning space. As you master and master this skill, the space will continue to expand. Your fourth level skill, Resurrection of the Dead has evolved. Now you can select all dead creatures whose status is not higher than the Emperor level, inject them with dead energy, and make them your summons. The summons will retain a certain proportion of their attributes and all skills before they died. Active Effect Summon the true monarch of the Scourge to the world. The summon is completely obedient to you, and after the summon dies, this skill will be permanently invalid. The initial level of the summon is LV.1, the initial status is Lord Level. When carrying the summon into battle, the experience gained after killing monsters will be distributed to the summon according to the ratio you set. The summoned creature initially has a growable weapon of the Black Iron Grade, Soul Elegy. After the summoned creature kills a monster, Soul Elegy will harvest a certain percentage of the monster's health, mana, and four-dimensional attributes, and add them to the basic attribute value of the weapon. As the summoned creature's level increases and its status is upgraded, new active and passive skills will be unlocked. Note, my child, on the day you were born, the whole world was whispering your name. Lin Yi was stunned. This time I really have to have a Lich King. And it's infinitely growable. This kind of growable summon. Lin Yi used his toes to think, and he knew that after raising it, it would definitely be extremely powerful. Looking at the entire blue star. Props with grow ability are extremely precious. There is also a most critical point, that is, the timing of obtaining this kind of growable skills or summons is very critical. If you get this kind of thing after you have already reached a high level, you will feel that it is tasteless and a pity to throw it away. Because you still have to spend a lot of time to slowly cultivate it from a low level. But although Lin Yi's combat power is explosive now. But the actual job transfer is only two transfers. With this summon, you can grow together. Lin Yi pondered for a moment, without too much hesitation. He crypt on gold to buy 500,000 skill points again. Then click on evolution. Ding. Congratulations, consuming 500,000 skill points and 1 million great shaw coins, your skill, summon, natural disaster lord has evolved into a new skill, command natural disaster, undead lord. In a blink of an eye, Lin Yi's card has more than 7 million great shaw coins. Now there is only a little over 1 million left. Money, money, I really can't help spending it. This time, Lin Yi is determined to win the national champion, and he has to fleece the country. Without mourning for the lost money, Lin Yi plans to test the necromancy skills. Because these skill descriptions are just to summon someone to fight for you. He has no idea what the specific strength level of these summons is and what skills they have. Under the influence of the 7th level passive skill Divine Grace Chanting, Lin Yi's skills below the 5th level are all instant, and he now has enough mana. So Lin Yi waved his hand, and three undead skeleton creatures of different sizes, but with different equipment and professions appeared in front of him. Without the help of the all-seeing eye, Lin Yi can also check the attributes of these three skeleton monsters. Skeleton Soldier. Health. 1000. Mana. None. Attack. 120. Defense. 100. Magic Resistance. 100. Skill. None. Note. Scourge, the lowest ranking soldier in the Undead Kingdom. Skeleton Warrior, Health, 3000, Mana, None, Attack, 300, Defense, 300, Magic Resistance, 150, Skill, Great Sword Slash. Note, the most common warrior in the Scourge. Necromancer, Health, 5000, Mana, 10,000, Attack, 800, Defense, 200, Magic Resistance, 500. Skills. Evil Spirit Arrow Rain, Soul Flame, Banshee Whale. Note. Elite Level Mage Core Member, Mastering a Variety of Long Range Spell Attack Methods. These three summons are the first to third level summons of the Necromancy system. The strongest among them is of course the Skeleton Mage. There is even a skill that can mentally shock other enemy targets, Banshee Whale. In Lin Yi's vision, in addition to the health bar on the top of the heads of these three summons, there is also a timer bar that is constantly falling. The fastest falling is the skeleton soldier. Three minutes later, when the timer bar on the head of this skeleton soldier returned to zero, it also fell apart into a pile of broken bones, and the blue ghost fire in the skeleton's eyes completely dissipated. 
Well, it seems that these summons have a time to go out. When the time is up, these summons will die. Lin Yi's mind moved. The 8th level necromancy skill he just obtained is also a stitching skill like the Supreme Sublimation. In addition to actively summoning the necromancer, there is also a passive effect. That is, he has a 10,000 cubic meter summoning space. What will happen if these summons are placed in that space? Do it as soon as you think of it. Lin Yi summoned a few lowest level skeleton soldiers again, and then transferred them and the skeleton warriors and necromancers whose time bars above their heads were more than halfway to the summoning space. The next moment, the skeleton monsters in front of Lin Yi disappeared. At the same time, a passage appeared in Lin Yi's sea of consciousness. Following this passage, Lin Yi came to this piece of necromancy summoning space that belonged to him with pure ideology. The 10,000 cubic meter summoning space is actually not too big, and you can see the end at a glance. But it was more than enough to accommodate these four or five skeleton monsters. Sure enough, after entering this space, Lin Yi found that the timer bar suspended above the heads of these monsters not only did not continue to fall. Instead, it was filling up at a very fast speed. After dozens of seconds, the summoning time of the three skeleton monsters was all refilled. Lin Yi's mind moved. The next moment, these four or five skeleton monsters were transferred from the dead space to reality again. Lin Yi's eyes lit up. This passive skill is a bit magical. It's so useful. Lin Yi realized the real value of the existence of this dead space. That is to allow himself to store an entire skeleton army in it. If necessary, there is no need to consume mana to summon new skeleton monsters. Just transfer them out of this space. After testing the effectiveness of this space, Lin Yi once again immersed his consciousness into the dead space. He wanted to test whether he could summon the undead army directly in this space. And this time, Lin Yi no longer summoned a low-level skeleton monster. Instead, he summoned the sixth-level undead, the skeleton dragon. The mana and chanting time required for the sixth-level summoning spell are much longer, but it seems that in this undead space, he can chant faster with his consciousness. A few seconds later, a dead magic circle emitting strange black air appeared on the ground. Then, a dragon claw with only a few pieces of skin and flesh still attached to the white skeleton suddenly broke out of the ice layer under this space. Boom, the dragon claw stepped on the ice layer, causing the entire space to tremble violently. The next moment, the huge dragon body of the skeleton dragon drilled out of the ice layer. A terrifying skeleton dragon with cold soul flames burning all over its body appeared in front of Lin Yi's consciousness. The dragon was highly rotten all over, with white dragon bones everywhere. There were holes all over the dragon's wings. Lin Yi was very worried, whether it could still fly like this. It seemed to sense Lin Yi's thoughts. The skeleton dragon raised its head and roared at the sky, and the next moment, it flapped its wings. The whole dragon flew up. Lin Yi nodded. Well, it's unscientific, but it's magical. When the dragon flew up, Lin Yi realized that the dragon was terrifyingly big. It was estimated to be more than 40 meters from head to tail. The wingspan was nearly 50 meters. At the same time, the various attributes of the dragon also appeared in front of Lin Yi. Skeleton Dragon Level LV.100 Rank King HP 550,550 thousandths Mana, 200,000 200 thousandths. Attack, 11,500. Defense, 10,000. Magic resistance, 10,000. Skills, Dead Soul Breath, Dragon Tail Sweep, Forbidden Magic Field, Netherworld Chill, Dragon Language Spirit, Soul Cleansing. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.